Okay. Hey guys, we welcome. Are doing today. Welcome back to the tavern, everyone, uh, for another episode of Welcome to Termahia. Uh, we have a few announcements to get through tonight before we begin. Starting with the drink of the night, known as the mind fuck. That's right, you heard it right. It's the mind fuck. <laughs> Want to go ahead and light that for me, Adam? All right. Yeah, we got yeah, this in yeah. honor of last week when we really with that guy's mind. <laughs> All right, and this is basically a version, <laughs> Don't do that it is a version of the Mind Eraser. If you guys have partied, you know what that's all about. There you go. Oh, there oh, you go. Hang whenever on. you're done. I accidentally blew it up. You can just like there breathe fire in my direction. That's yeah, that's right. Shock glass. <laughs> so yeah, you basically, uh, it's kind of like a Mind Eraser, but you let it on fire and uh, drink it like yeah, a man. Yeah, just vomit. kidding. Yeah, you don't actually drink it while it's on fire. That's bad news. Only Mine people light on fire. can do that's that. That's an omen. <laughs> you can try some of you want this one. <laughs> yeah. <I'll> okay. <laughs> you can have the fire. Right? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Go! Yeah, on this shit, go. and it goes. One, two, three. <laughs> there we okay. go. Okay. That's hot. <laughs> it I let my toast eat out my burn for a little while. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> all right, so for all you people out there, <laughs> Remember, okay. calm the drink and drink it. Don't wait for your friends. Yeah. No, let it let it Mine sit is, burning yeah, for a good a forty-five to a minute and a half. If your lips aren't numb by the time you're done with it, now, you did it wrong. I'm used to hot metal, but even this is just like a little bit too much. Yeah. So don't wait for your friends. You know, after you know the pain has subsided, it's really delicious. Good. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite delicious. No, nope, I can't do it. <laughs> I've been trying All to. Right. Like, Gil, we're Did you just see? Gonna... I was already like, I'm in this too deep. I have to go. <laughs> I just went. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll drink it later. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to hold off on these for just a few minutes. It was just a joke for you. <laughs> yeah. Sucker. <laughs> you could probably All drink right. it out of a straw even whilst it's still on fire. Ooh. Like a B 52s. Okay. Uh, okay. All Kat right. I also used to do this something. in her mouth. So. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to suggest that because uh, it could lead to all kinds yeah, of things. Unless you're doing this in the past. See, Kat is it. actually living in hardcore mode while everyone else is regular <laughs> vanilla mode for life. It's, um, I paid the I price, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, uh, it's hot fire, fam. For That's those right. of you who uh, wa uh, visit us at the Ren Fair, oh, that God. was an amazing mm -hmm. day. Thank you guys so much. That was fun. We must have ran into I don't know how many critters, how many uh, people that actually watched the show and uh, commented on uh, like uh, my sister's uh, costume as Muggsy, Muggsy. and the setup. It was really cool. It was a really great uh, day. So thank you guys. Uh, uh, we really enjoyed that. I'm um, so sad we missed it. If you guys have pictures, really please sorry. feel free to post them with like a little space in somewhere, and we'll Photoshop <laughs> ourselves in. It's gonna be awesome. Of adding ourselves. <laughs> You can do that with any old celebrity that you, that you enjoy. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to be playing with Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> nice to meet you. We'll do that later. I have a friend that has a cardboard cutout. We can probably make that happen. Fantastic. Um, hey guys, the practical Photoshop. the t-shirt link is live. So the shirt that I'm wearing is safe for work. You can walk around with it. People will question it. You can tell them a different answer if you want. Um, however, they, they come in. Don't fire me, God. <laughs> Damn. Or Gary. Or Gary. Yeah. If, if, if your boss is named Gary, this shirt works for you. Great. Yeah. Uh, the link is live. Uh, it'll be in chat right now. Um, also, you can get them in different colors. Cinnamon. There's uh, female cuts too. If you if you if you are a female or you wish to wear a female cut, no judgy. Um, check them out. Guys. 2018. Absolutely. 2018. I'm going to give you a special one. So guys, if you guys also have missed our uh, uh, previous episodes uh, leading up to this point, you can watch them on VOD, but the episodes I believe 1 through 6 are no longer available there. You have to get over to the YouTube channel link, and that'll be below and then hopefully posted into the chat uh, as we speak. Um, if if uh, watching it is not your, uh, your bread and butter, yeah, then you can go ahead and uh, wiki it. And uh, all the episodes are kind of up there right now. Um, the weekly link will be again linked into the, the Twitch chat. Thank you, Cody Frampus. Thank you again, man. Cody. You are an invaluable human being, and thank you for existing. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, you can thank go. Your parents. And, and Sorry, you, can go, you can go check out a few little like uh, 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 little anecdotes that we we talk about, uh, little uh, quotes and stuff like that, uh, little tidbits of information that he he gathers throughout the night and uh, makes it a little bit more. Um, um, tolerable, I guess, as far as uh, <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, let's see what else. It's funny, the more that you reference him, the more accountable he has to be. I know. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Yeah. <laughs> but thank true. you. We're, we're, we're making this life out for you. That's so. right. Um, Twitch Prime. Uh, guys, we're almost near the 20 sub goal. If we reach that uh, tonight, next episode, or the episode after that, there is a D20. I'll, I'll even customize one of the faces for you. So you can have it say DFMG, you can have it say fuck, you can have it say damn, you can have it say your I wife's don't know. name, your wife's name, portrait. <laughs> your, 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 your astrological <laughs> sign, really anything you want it to be. Ices. Yeah. <laughs> you said, no, that'd be Cancer! Oh, you no, told me! No, where were you? You had one job. Yeah. <laughs> Like all I don't know what I'm about Pisces. Yeah, yeah, I got. Expect you to catch it before they say it too. Anticipate. Exactly, because it has to be perfect. Yeah, timing. Cody can't do all the work, but I have failed you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and we're back. Oh wow, that was a mistake. I just took the whole thing. Great. <laughs> it's a shot for a reason, sir. I know. Um, <laughs> wonderful. All right, guys. <laughs> Tonight's DM will be. Um, <laughs> so guys, uh, if, you, if you have Twitch Prime, or rather, if you have Amazon Prime, you can uh, uh, activate Twitch Prime. Just check over the link, which will again be posted in chat. With that, you can subscribe to one channel of your choice. Now we are an independent channel. We are a small uh, run. Basically, it's everyone here plus two of the people downstairs. Two and a half. As we two and a half. That's right. Um, I know she's watching too. <laughs> um, so if you guys uh, uh, would like to, you can subscribe to us, and hopefully we can reach that goal tonight, sometime soon. Uh, we'll be watching for it also throughout the week in case we do uh, reach it at some point during the week, and we'll have that uh, available for the next drawing. So whenever that comes up, it'll be available. Uh, the sponsor for tonight is Cantor Candles. Yeah, yeah! Christoph, wonderful gentleman. Uh, mm. You can. Type in at checkout, Triangle and Flame, all caps for a 10% discount. Uh, remember, that's at, uh, that's at, uh, the one? And is that, yeah. is that spelled out <laughs> and? Is it and, A-N-D? yes, okay, A-N-D, right. Triangle and Flame, all caps. And uh, for tonight's giveaway, we're going to have Ooh. a walk in the woods. Smelly, smelly. Oh, that's that's a good one. One. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really good one. Uh, this is actually not it, but I... Uh, oh, <laughs> I was going to say pass it around. Walk in the woods. Yeah, I was going to say walk in the woods, but Buff it, and pass. we are currently burning uh, walk Can in the woods. Cantrip Candles actually made a custom candle for us that has our scents combined in it. It's terrible, <laughs> but it's unique. I, I really hope that's something What is it called? Sweat and ale. <laughs> that sounds like us. <laughs> swale. It's called swale. <laughs> Except for Jingles, Jingles the hint of lavender in the, the corner. There's that, yes. That's the <laughs> this is a very, very small hint. That's just a hint. Um, all right, guys. Let's do a little bit of the recap. Right. <laughs> as, as you guys have horribly messed up this poor gentleman's uh, life. All right. So after arriving in Quintessa, they hoofed it over to the Duke's castle as soon as they could, and meanwhile Ada was waiting at the docks, and she attempted to cast a suggestion to control the Viscount Randall, but it didn't stick. She mentioned to Donish that it didn't stick, and hopefully that they were going to be on their own and make up something on their own to maybe level the playing field. Boy, did we. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Eventually, uh, uh, Jingles and... Um, Highland, I believe, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They both tried to stall him for a little bit more time. It worked for about maybe, I don't know, five minutes or so. Yeah. But the Rand, uh, the Viscount Randall eventually just marched right up there. Looking like a hobo. Looking, <laughs> with the help of uh, uh, Jingles' magic, <laughs> made him look a little bit rough around the edges and a little sp splotchy and whatnot. Putting it nicely. Yeah. <laughs> a little splotchy. He ran up to the table and began to speak his mind. But not before Trixie and Don Ash both intercepted the conversation magically and wonderfully <laughs> by. <laughs> oh God! Say it. I know. Yeah. Say it. <laughs> Fucking say it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, where, where did this come from? Yeah. 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 Um, where Trixie infiltrated his mind, made him crazy, as well as Don Ash's magic, and cast Tasha's hideous laughter, which forced him to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you deserved, um, forced him to basically go into a crazy uh, hysterical uh, bout and uh, was pulled into the, uh, the hospital wing by the, uh, the uh, assistants and the uh, few of the guards. 
Uh, never to be seen again, maybe, <laughs> for the rest of the campaign. Who knows? Oh, my God. Um, they don't eventually fuck with us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, are, are, we, are we doing that? Should, we, should I not say that anymore? No, okay. No, we're fine. <laughs> more than fine. Um, they eventually made their way uh, out to the uh, bazaar there, the market, the central market in uh, Quintessa, and they spoke with uh, Rodin, who was there uh, selling a few of his metals, uh, his wares, as well as the goblins, who have now uh, made a treaty and have held their end of the bargain with the dwarves and are now selling their vegetables and fruits and all that at the bazaar. A uh, short time later, they saw... A, uh, a little boy taking, stealing uh, a few apples for himself and got caught by the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper Which took it upon himself douchebag. to draw out, his, draw out his sword and attempt to cut the little boy's hand off. Oh. Hi, uh, almost all of them basically intercepted uh, uh, the sword and stopped him and questioned his motives and wondered why he would take upon his own law when there was an established uh, law already in Quintessa. He fucked his life too. <laughs> <laughs> the guards came up and uh, questioned the situation. Uh, they found out that the, the man behind the shop was indeed uh, screwing with everything that, that they had uh, upheld and uh, tried to uh, shoo him off the premises, gather his belongings, and leave the city of Quintessa. How do you like them out? <laughs> <laughs> and that's right, I ate one too as I walked away. <laughs> it did. Oh, right. uh, a short time later, uh, Trixie saw a gentleman uh, stabbing a guard. Oh, yeah. The guard from Masthead. At that moment, she, she gave chase and eventually found out that he was not really at fault where the guard had accosted him and was basically shaking them down for his money. Or so he says. Or so the. Uh, High roll of. Uh, <laughs> I believe him. <laughs> oh, man. I think it was a really high roll. If I remember. It, was it was like a twenty something. I was like, oh. He <laughs> tells you his life oh, story. Yeah. Twenty thousand. <laughs> yeah, twenty thousand. Super high. Rogues. And eventually they uh, had um, come up to the conclusion that the people from Asset were not too kind to just about anyone, including the folks in Quintessa. After that, they made their way to Wester's Wondrous Works, where. They uh, sold a few items, got uh, traded, and also purchased a barbed dagger to be completed in about two weeks' time. Horrific. <laughs> After that, they made their way to the Red Herring. And that is where we pick up. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. And hey, we Roll have initiative. a full cast yeah. again. Yay! Hey, hey, yeah. Welcome, Welcome back, back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you at least uh, got okay. to uh, enjoy the Ren Fair with us. Mm. Both yes. uh, Guillermo and Cat were Renfair versions, and uh, it was my utter delight to show them uh, the ins and outs of uh, all that the Renfair has to offer. You were very gentle, too. That was nice. Oh, oh, that was very nice. Consent is uh, just the, the word I of the was guy. very much willing. That's on camera. Everyone knows. <laughs> I all made right. a little video of our adventures, oh, right. and that will be You filmed online. it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me your makeup. <laughs> You were there. You were there. <laughs> you participated. Yeah, you pushed record. <laughs> so that will be up on uh, my YouTube channel. Yay! Awesome. Yeah. Katarina's Infamy. Yep. Katarina, Katarina's Infamy. You can also find that on Instagram and Twitter and yes. almost anywhere. That it's actually, it's actually right here. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, perfect. All right. We can't reach that fire. <laughs> yeah, where's my laser pointer, Gil? Nowhere where you can blind people with. <laughs> I went back and I saw it. It was like right here, man. Yeah, it was very close. <laughs> you are barred. <laughs> All right, so we're in the tavern right now. All right, you guys head into the, the uh, Red Herring. So, as you guys begin to enter, one by one, uh, what's the marching order? Just so that I know. I feel like I'm. I feel like if you're not in front, I am pushing you in front. I'm not in front. I'm definitely I'm second. He's pushing her in front. All right. All right. So then or I'm. The I'm right behind you, going. <laughs> oh my god! Go! 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 go. <laughs> So. And towards the ladder. Okay, uh, then I'll, I'll have a Highland up front. So Highland enters and she sees <laughs> a um, semi uh, full tavern actually. Uh, it's about midday and um, kind of, no, sorry, it's about um, the mid afternoon and there's still plenty of people in there uh, having drink and food. Uh, next we have uh, Jingles and Trixie. Then later, Donish and, and uh, Amalthea at the same time. And you hear immediately 
as soon as you and Camille enter. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, w- w- Wolf. Um, huh? you, you, you can't have that here. Um, She's a service animal. I, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, it's it's you lot, and you can see now it's, it's Joseph is uh, finishing up a few uh, uh, drinks and kind of wiping them down, putting them. Oh, I, I'm sorry, but it, it's it's Lady Trith's rules. It's not mine. It's, it's not Lady Trith. Is she around by chance? Uh, she is not. Um, I'm sorry. She. It's a shame. She's gone uh, north for something, something personal. Ah. That reminds me. Uh, I'll be right back. And he goes into the uh, the back room there. He's got a note. You you hear a few uh, uh, drawers being kind of shuffled and open, all that, a few papers, and then eventually he comes back. Oh, Amalthea. Oh. This is Thank for you. you. Thank you. Uh, He's he stealing her blood. Yeah, actually, he has a seal. That's legit. All right, I'm gonna open it. And she just rips the shit. <laughs> <laughs> open it very carefully. Delicate. Wow, that's as, actually as pretty good. Nice yeah. okay. Joseph is back to clean. Is it uh, spritzed with perfume? It is not. She has very nice handwriting. Oh, it's okay. It's just a granddad who's ill. Well, what does it say? Well, she's. It's personal. It's private. <laughs> God damn it! What does it say? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You. <laughs> It says, Dearest Amalthea, thank you for that wonderful evening together. I have forgotten what it was like to let go and have fun. You have broken down a wall I had put up many years ago. It will be hard to out myself from this shell, but I shall work at it very hard. Anyway, I wanted to let you know that I too have gone away to tend to some business up north. My granddad is ill and I'm bringing supplies and medicine. Don't worry, it's nothing severe. I hope to see you soon. You and your friends. Expectedly yours. Oh. You can't tell her that I read it to you guys. <laughs> I would say I we're make no broke promises. down walls as well. Little <laughs> enough. A big step. Quite the leap. Uh, right. Can I get you anything? Oh, I'm satiated after that. I think uh, this I calls for a celebration. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yes, indeed. Yeah, a celebration. Yes, I, I think yes. this is good time. Yeah. It's good time. everyone else is the What do you have? What's, <laughs> what's good for a celebration around here? Oh, well, you guys seem to like the dragon ale. Oh, you still have some. Good. Ooh, Did yeah. we? <laughs> Around! Yes. <laughs> Around yeah. to do. And I flip him however much it is. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just, just it's like 15 silver for the round. And he just takes it. They're stealing us blind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes back out with five uh, pictures there, and, and he uh, hands them all to you. What about for yourself? Oh, well, I'm busy working. I'm sorry. <laughs> D- this is a celebration. Do not... Please do not insult us and have one with us, won't you? Oh, let the man work. I am. He's going to work. Well, right he can at least have one quick drink with us. Maybe a shot. Oh, surely his constitution is higher than that. You know what? <laughs> Actually, okay. do you have do you have a, a shot of anything particularly interesting? Oh, you have something called a mind. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I looked at you. I gave you the chance. Oh, <laughs> uh, we have something called the uh, the mind. Beep. <laughs> Perfect, all right. What is happening? Bless you. <laughs> Care to sample it? I absolutely would. Would anyone else like to? Yeah, sounds exactly. pretty intense. Oh, Takes about 15 to make it. I'll be right back. Uh, all of you? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. All right. <laughs> he, Trixie especially you. <laughs> Trixie, yes. Lady Amalthea, you have to drink with us in celebration. Mm-hmm. By the way, when can we put the facade down? Is now a good Lady time? Lady no. What I say? Malthea? Lady Amalthea. I'm the lady of the <laughs> I thought you were talking to her for a second. My lips are still on fire, guys. <laughs> <laughs> when we leave this, the tunnel, I'm sure it's fine then. Fair enough. <laughs> Leo, Trisha? Some people will be wondering I'll when Trixie is. <laughs> I'm totally down for it. We'll keep it all the entire campaign. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, C- Camille um, has seemed to um, be, she's actually outside, okay. sitting down, just kind of, you know, just waiting there. Every, ca- every now and then, if you look back, she'll kind of like lean in and you know, just stay outside. Every now and then, a, a bar patron will kind of walk by and <laughs> just kind of <laughs> hug the wall a little bit and then enter or leave, you know, and then just get startled, you know. Um, Fifteen minutes later, he brings about out four, or sorry, five flaming shots. He goes, mm-hmm. and he's got a sixth one for him, like, damn me. <laughs> You're welcome. What are, we, uh, what are we cheering for? What are we toasting for? To new love. It might have been awesome. I feel like it 
Happy returns. Happy, happy returns. returns. Happy returns. Yes, indeed. And, and mine fucks. And, <laughs> and fucks. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd take it down. I was going to say, the and flames. the longer we sit with, with the these, flames. the hotter it's going to be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. <laughs> with the flames. You take four points of fire damage. Can I <laughs> can I con save and see if I can go... <laughs> okay. Sure, no, no, no. G give me a dex save. Okay. Give me a dex save. Mm, how does a 15 take you fancy? So you do take the damage, but you're like, mm, maybe you can... And you have a little, like... A good five inch like spout of flame. It goes away quickly though, and you're like <laughs> And then I go <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it before. Ah, yeah, fair, enough. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I'm sure you've seen them quite a bit. Don't ask that thou shalt not waste that precious liquid. Oh. We're not done. Oh. <laughs> good. We are just getting started. Okay, good, I got <laughs> so I pick up uh, the ale of dragon ale mm -hmm. or the, the tank of dragon ale mm -hmm. and then I Throw yours over to you and just whoosh, smash cut. To everyone's fucking wasted. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. You guys, you know, uh, begin to drink tonight, and uh, every now and then uh, he watches your low drinks and goes another. Mm -hmm. Brings out a whole another round for you guys, and uh, eventually it, it begins to um, get towards the the night there, and it, it's getting towards the the wee hours. Mm -hmm. So, what do you guys you guys still wish to drink and eat? Oh. Well, Jingle yes, I have a question. Yes, my dear. Do any of the books in your haversack happen to be history books? Well, it's funny you ask that. Uh, Vilrus's grimoire, I'm assuming, is not one. Uh, Vilrus's book stash, Lich Book Times Three. Uh, I'm just reading things. <laughs> <laughs> is that a math book? That's its name. <laughs> no, more math. <laughs> yeah. Uh, an organ in a jar. All right. So, are any of the books that I would have picked up from the Lich, or not the Lich, not the Lich, not the Lich, um, the Necromancer? Um, it would have been. Um, yeah, a few of them would have been. Actually, I would say one of them is a brief history of the uh, the general area, and it's okay. it's not um, it's not detailed so much as it's just like a recent history, recent accounts, and all that. So. Okay. All right. Uh, I will. Speaking of magic stuff, here's the bag of holding, and here Yay. are your two items that. Um, <coughs> oh, you I'm curious. Oh, they're, they're just so part of the. Thing. I was gonna say. So I have three, three shards. I picked up two, and then I yoinked one from one of the other people. Okay, copy that. Then, so then you have the three. I wrote down three. Is that what I have on here on the card? On here. Uh, sure. The number of pieces three. three. Great. Yes, number awesome. of pieces three. Great. Shards. I guessed and sure. Shards. Metal shards from three metal shards sword from a sword. Oh. Big magic sword in the arena. Oh that everybody God. like freaked out over. That's right. Yeah, and I was like, I have no idea why everyone's freaking out, but obviously I should have these shards. That's so right. I stole one from somebody else and picked up two for myself. <laughs> this was pre-streaming. Pre <laughs> yes. yes. You guys didn't miss that. <laughs> <laughs> the backstory. I know. I was like, I passed out. Oh, we'll eventually get to a point where we'll talk about all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of good fun. Yeah, um, yes. I think certainly. Um, so anyway, I I'd like you, if you don't mind, absolutely, to have a page devoted to all the stuff that's in there. Oh, okay. So, like, right. I give you two slots. Mm -hmm. Have that one be like your haversack stuff. And, Absolutely. Uh, have her doing that um, as well. All Just right. so we know how much is in the actual. What is in where? The bags are <laughs> so, while I assume you guys are headed upstairs and he gave you that mm. book. I don't know. Did Jingles give me the book? Uh, yes, <laughs> of course I have a history of a contemporary history of this particular area that we were in when we killed the necromancer. Wonderful. Uh, would you mind terribly if I borrowed it? I don't see why not. Here you go. Thank you. Have a blast. Okay. <laughs> it's um, rather dull. Joseph Eck is going to mention, um, just so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but we have no rooms. Oh. What? Yes. Uh, well, you do have a lot of space on the floor, and we're almost there anyway, so. Uh, cannot no! Be that. Uh, Joseph. Um, <laughs> <coughs> uh, do you happen to know of any other places the that rusty are uh, anchor? nearby? The Rusty Anchor is just a pub. Ah. What about the one with the feel... lion? Yes. The Restless Ooh, Lion? The drunken lion? Drunken I always call it. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's encephalon. So. I almost said centrifuge. It's not the name of the name. Centrifuge. The drunken barrel. Yeah, there was there was another inn here, correct? Mm -hmm. um, there there was Joseph? a few. Yes, there, there was indeed a few. Well, um, um, well, just the old uh, vineyard, I think, but it's just uh, near the 
Near the uh, district, uh, the, the higher district. A vineyard? Uh, they call it the vineyard. Uh, they, they specialize in wine. They have everything else. Oh, perfect. We've already had liquor and ale. It's time to round out the trio. Wine before liquor, never been sicker. Is that how the saying goes? Nope. Liquor before <laughs> wine? Yeah. It is you now. feel damn fine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it out. <laughs> I've never been able to get that right anyway. <laughs> if you just do it all at once, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> just kidding, don't do that. Um, well, then maybe we should perchance go there. What, you're yeah. very busy today. Uh, we're just full up. We've been full up for a while now. Is there something going on in town? Uh, no, well, ever since, uh, well, actually, ever since you, uh, ever since the, um, what's his name, the Randall guy, Oh, right. Yeah, I think I've heard about, about him. Uh, yeah. I, I don't like him a whole lot. Don't anyway, worry, neither do we. Yeah, no. Oh, fine. Anyway. Yeah, there's uh, a bit of a rumor that says that he may not be the discount for much longer. <laughs> Is that so? A certain journey maybe tussled his mind a bit uh, too that's, much. That's what I recall. He went on some journey, and yeah, that's yeah. why he drew in a crowd, but they kind of stayed here, and so they've been taken up. Yeah, you can't trust rumors, though. It's what I've only heard on the streets. Oh. I'm, I'm all about rumors. That's all we get around here. <laughs> anyway, I apologize. Uh, yeah. So, uh, no where where would you recommend that we uh, find ourselves? The vineyard. Oh, vineyard. Oh, vineyard, vineyard is definitely the place. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if they're not full themselves. Okay. Right. Not. I'm so, well, I'm glad that you're getting as much business as you are, considering the state of the town of Quintessa with the taxes and whatnot. Yeah, I think they're coming here to forget that. Ah. Well, good on you then. I'm sure you will give oh, them many and reasons and to and celebrate. He just realizes, like, oh, I'm sorry, I, sh- I just realized I should have been charging you extra. I'm oh, it's fine. No, that. we're fine. That's good. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I, I flick him off. No, I flick him too gold. <laughs> <laughs> I flick him too gold. I'm like, there's no need for us to drink free here. Although we do appreciate it. We may, maybe in the future you can make that rain check for us. But for now, we have the means. And I flick him too gold. I appreciate that. Absolutely. We appreciate you. Well, he takes all of your empty <clears throat> cups and puts them down into like a tray. How do we feel, by the way? Uh, you, you feel, I mean, you know, you're, you're in your normal state almost. Fantastic. You kind of like have that weird life. You feel normal. Okay, good. Yeah, normal. <laughs> you, you have that, that sway to you, but yes. it's familiar. So, uh, the rest of you are, are, I mean, actually, everyone go ahead and roll up constitution, including you, Don Ash. Uh, roll a constitution check. <laughs> Natural twenty. Natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Mine did that, and then it went to a four. <laughs> um, not bad. Sixteen. You, you said constitution save. Yeah. Uh, uh, we are, yeah, we are. <laughs> can hold our liquor. Mm-hmm. But I get advantage though, right? Huh? I get advantage though, right? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um, you start the rest of you. The bet I make. I know. The rest of you, you watch as uh, Donna just does the whole, the, the last sentence, he just, and he's about to kind of fall down. He's doing the sway thing, but you realize that it's a little bit too much. He's about to fall down. I'm going to grab him. Oh, I <laughs> So, so wine it is then? <laughs> wine it is. Wine it is. Take care of him. Uh, so just make sure he doesn't, he does it a lot. Just he does, doesn't yes, he? Yes, I, I, will, I will keep his hand <laughs> under his mouth. Oh. <laughs> Emphasis on his hand. Yeah. His yeah. hand. <laughs> All right. So you guys uh, head out into the night, mm-hmm. uh, looking for the old vineyard, and you eventually do find it. Uh, you, you see that it is a a, um, a, a different crowd here. Uh, a few uh, of the nobles have kind of like entered in. They're Ooh. actually dining, uh, finishing up their, their dinners and all that. Mm. Late at night. Do any of us and, look uh, shabby a little bit? Most of us. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I aside you. from you, I think most of you. Oh no, she's got still has her. Um, I'm still looking yeah. okay. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. If anybody's got like a little extra dust from the road, I'd like to very inconspicuously try and press to digitate right. them. Into just give me one, one sleight of hand, just 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 for the heck of it. That's a sleight of hand. That's gonna be a fifteen. All right, sure. It, you're kind of in the middle of the crowd. You're just kind of like. Spot yeah. every, everything you can see from where you're at, you're just like, all right, get rid of that, get rid of that. Yeah. And uh, all the blood off of uh, Don has yes. gone, <laughs> gone away. Yeah, fantastic, um, great. <laughs> and you guys are clean okay. for the most part. Uh, you still have your rags, and you still kind of look a little different yeah. than yeah. the rest. Shabby of- is my normalcy. 
<laughs> um, but you notice that there are uh, like like uh, there's a, uh, a not necessarily a, a couple but two people actually like taking partaking in a uh, hookah off in the far corner there. Ooh. You see other people uh, with uh, um, uh, snifters and wine glasses and all that, and they're talking at a low volume. And the the general atmosphere is much quieter than uh, the red herring. Mm. And um, how do you feel about wolves? There is a um, uh, gentleman at the door, and he's kind of watching you go by. He's kind of nodding. He gives you a look, he, and then he stops at you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, no, is this your wolf? She's a service animal. I don't know what that means. Um, She's an emotional support animal. It means I have <laughs> documentation to say that I can. Oh, please have produce a, that documentation. Well, it's legal for you to ask me to see it. <laughs> He's uh, making a deception check. pretty good. Oh my gosh. Oh, state of California. <laughs> 17. 17. I, all right, um, just make sure you just keep, keep clean up oh, after him, Max. She's, she's very well behaved. She, oh, well, yes, my apologies, yes. sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, very well. Um, just keep it aside from the rest of we have a lot of high-class folks in here. They might get startled. Don't let anything happen. No, I trust. It'll be fine. <laughs> by the way, keep your looks <laughs> to yourself. <laughs> this is the guy. <laughs> As you walk by, you just kind of, those of you who walk behind you, just, just gives you, uh, not looking at you, but just... You gave me the sting guy when we got that. You have no shirt. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Most I'm not used to sting guy, I'm just a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> As the Ren Fair can tell you, yes. <laughs> no, I'm in character. Thanks, no. guys, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so you guys uh, enter there, and uh, there's a uh, um, a gentleman by the name of uh, Gore who greets you. Hi, how you doing? Um, can I seat you? Uh, oh. Five? Yes, uh, oh, no, Wolf. Well, yes. Uh, he looks over at the, the door. He's like, he just gives him a little shrug. And <laughs> it's a seeing eye, Wolf. First things first, though, do you have any rooms available? Yes. Room. Yes, oh. we're looking for a place to uh, stay. I don't I believe so. He pulls out a uh, large tablet and he's kind of like putting through some papers and a large iPad. I'm like, yeah. oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's one of those uh, so uh, oh, windows. Uh, <laughs> right, right, right. Um, I, I am sorry. Uh, we're all full up here. Uh, I believe we'll have a few uh, availabilities in um, uh, two days if you've been. Oh. Do you have any other uh, suggestions? How about, uh, <clears throat> that's not a bad idea, actually. Just, uh, what? just... Mouth We can camp. We can, you know, we <laughs> can, can <laughs> we can <laughs> no, camp, we can. but, uh, <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> I've uh, been to a, a few <laughs> establishments of uh, <laughs> this stature, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, would I be remiss <laughs> in thinking that perhaps there were a few, uh, rooms that were not on the list? Suites? Very mm -hmm. nice rooms? You hear a few papers shuffling from underneath his. Um, he actually like near the bar. There's like a pedestal, and the pedestal underneath is where he's kind of rummaging through some papers. And he has money to pay. He we does. we have money to pay. But yes, I have money he has to pay. Lots of money to pay. <clears throat> I'm very charismatic right now. Well, we have one two bedroom suite available, but I believe this goes over capacity with all of you. Oh well, surely look at. Uh, she certainly doesn't count as a full person. <laughs> I, that, um, I would Fair enough. consider okay. her a full person, yes. I, how long do you have this yes. room available for? Just the, just, the, just the night? Just the night, in fact. Just the night? Okay, all right. Is it a real nice room? I like to think so. We pride ourselves on uh, cleanliness. And there are no bed bugs, no rats. Well, that's always a plus. How much would that be? Uh, 15 gold. 15 gold, okay, all right. Um, and what if I were to tell you that we are actually a traveling band of heroes? You know the dude? Yeah? That's the thing. Exactly. You, know, <laughs> you know, he, he looks at the thing. Uh, I, I am not. Uh, what are you known as? Uh, well, as of right now, uh, yes, we are, we're going between titles. Uh, but the Duke himself... Uh, knows us. He sent us after Randall. You may be familiar with that man. Uh, his what's his actual title? 
Viscount. Viscount. Viscount, Viscount Grundle. Yes. Viscount Grundle. I, I know him well. Yes. He uh, he seemed to have got himself into a bit of a sticky situation across the sea, and uh, the Duke actually sent mm. us to rescue him. We procured him back to safety, and now we are looking for a place to rest our heads for just one night. I it's, see. It's a little bit of a secret mission, but we feel that we can trust you. Oh, but make a make an exception with advantage. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, thanks. Uh, you know what? <laughs> oh, because flattery oh. goes. Twenty, not natural. Okay. Oh, thank oh. God. Mm. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, that's, that's really kind of you to. I mean, I, I'm merely no one, of course. Uh, Obviously, you are running a fine establishment, yes. and perhaps Indeed. we can speak uh, highly of you after staying in such a fine place. Well, that would be that would be very kind of you. Uh, what is your name? Uh, I guess you kind of write it down near the uh, the place where the room is at. Jingles. Jingles. You call me Mr. Jingles. Mr. Jingles. Trixie. Trixie. No, wait, wait, uh, Lady, I'm Lady Altricia. No, I'm Trixie. You're Trixie now. Okay, all right. Trixie. Amalthea. Amalthea. Yeah. Donash. Donash. Hi, Lene. Hi, Lene. And this is, is the wolf going to be with Oh, me. yes. This is Camille. Oh, Camille. And we're, I'll just put one <laughs> do, do animal. Mm-hmm. And uh, can I just kind of... Oh, my goodness. Bu- 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 what? Just, uh, and he's, he's sleeping right now. All right. Just very young. He doesn't count. As you can hear. He does indeed. I will lose. <laughs> Her, his name? Uh, <laughs> Kurt. Kurt. He's Kurt now? Okay, all right. He's, he's been Kurt. Kurt for a while. He's he's still in his sailor <laughs> uniform, right? Yeah. You yes. haven't taken it off yet. Kurt. Kurt. And a young Kurt. Well, the young back Kurt. of his head is still green. Kurt. From his face is white. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt Jingles? I... Kurt, uh, yes, yes, white. Kurt Jingles. Very well. Um, PJ. <laughs> he's dotting his eyes, crossing his T's, and all right. Uh, Jingle's arms gold. are like starting to shake. <laughs> this is kind of yeah. like. Uh, yeah, it's um, yeah. fifteen gold. A Trixie, would you would you mind? Uh, I'd be happy to help. I'm gonna reach into <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. And uh, you give him the fifteen gold. All right. Go ahead and write down that you take your fifteen gold. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> and you guys have a two bedroom room for the night. It's not um, as large as you, you're thinking. It's it's still a suite. And it's got uh, amenities and whatnot. Um, it, it does have a nice pitcher of water there waiting for you, a, um, like a towel. And the beds are made. Hmm? How many beds? Only two beds. I volunteer to sleep on the floor. I volunteer to sleep on a bed. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also take the floor as I imagine I'm not going to fit in these beds. So. Yeah, you have like a, at least a, a foot o- and a half <laughs> overhang. <laughs> if I have a foot overhang on my bed, then you have definitely like, <laughs> Yeah. I'm off you if you'd like to take the bed in my stead. Feel free. Oh, that's assuming that they're oh, sleeping that's together. Two, two. Right. I can also oh. stay with I'm not here. There's that. Is there a windowsill? I like to start it. I like to start it. Wait, so no, then you would be sharing Starfish. the bed with Jingles, would you not? Yeah. Me too. I no, I, I really I <laughs> require a large <laughs> amount of room. I know that I don't require a large amount of room in real life, but on the bed, it uh, definitely. It, I it's just important. walk casually in over to the windowsill, <laughs> and I sit myself down in a on the windowsill. Yeah, that's why I asked. Okay, you open the the windows, <laughs> and, and initially it's kind of like it's hard to open. You realize it was oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, um, there's a latch on there, and like it's kind of just jammed a little bit. No one has really opened it. And Can I Fonzie elbow it open? Okay. <laughs> Don't even hit the roll. Just like thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're fully open there, and yeah, <laughs> you get up in there, and the window is kind of small. So you're, <laughs> this is a you're, you're okay. I'll, I'll say your head, like if you uh, uh, elongate your your spine, you touch the the top of the window. So if we startle him, oh, I am. So poise all the time. Uh, also drunk. So I'm going to. I'm going to. Is it like how wide is the sill? Uh, you're maybe sitting on like a six inch sill. Uh, okay. Yeah, so no. I'll um I'll put one leg out, sit okay. sideways with the okay. sill on my back, and then one leg, like one foot. Gotcha. Foot, yeah, yeah. And just sit there like that. Like the DreamWorks uh, logo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Fishing rod and all. <laughs> I put a blanket on the floor and I'm gonna curl up with Camille. Okay. You can take your blanket out of your adventurous bag, put it on the floor, and Camille will keep you uh, warmer yes. for the night. Um, and you're also on the the ground there. Um, you take your blanket out as well. 
think I have a blanket. If you have an adventurous <laughs> pack, you have a blanket. It comes with it. Okay, then pack. yes, I, I take my blanket. And there's, there's also other blankets in like the closet in that yes. room too, so. And this is just uh, provided for the guests in case <laughs> you wish to bundle up some more. Yeah. Um, if you guys wish to also grab more blankets for yourselves. It's, it's actually, it's, it's a nice, cool night. Um, it's you're around the springtime right now. Um, so it's nothing, um, nothing too hot, nothing too cold, you know. In, in not a very tactful fashion, I just kind of, as everyone's like getting settled down, I just kind of sit there and I'm just, <laughs> arms crossed and I go, So, Amalthea, mm-hmm. how do you feel about missing Trith? <laughs> Convenient. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk in the morning. <laughs> All right. So, Don Ash. Yes. How do you feel about missing Ada? I do miss her quite a bit. Yes. But, you know what? Not a bad idea. And I just fling myself out of the window, and I start heading to the rusty anchor. Leave you guys to your devices. All right. <laughs> make, make a <laughs> what? Did you just fall out of the window? Yeah. What story are we on? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> what story are we on? Um, you're on the second one, for Fantastic. sure. So make a, make a roll. Look kind. Acrobatics. Uh, <laughs> a medicine check. <laughs> acrobatics, yeah. Let's do acrobatics. Ooh. This is great. Because it is a 19. Oh, okay. Ooh, all right. You. <laughs> I also have two of his coins, so I was like, this is different. I'm ready. <laughs> you, you all, all watch him. Speaking of, boom. And you don't hear a noise. You don't hear a clatter. You don't hear a, a footstep. He's just gone. Guys, how high are we? I think probably because, you know, when you're really drunk, you're much less That's likely true. to hurt yeah. yourself <laughs> because you're really relaxed and, yeah. then you, you know, and you just kind of flop out the window and everything's fine. Mm-hmm. We just see, like, a Don Ash shape, like, splat on the ground. Or he's dead. Either way, there's nothing we can do. So, <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. I feel it in my heart that he's fine. <laughs> um, Kurt will kind of, like, just, like, sit there and, like, stare at you as you sleep. <laughs> oh, no, he can come. You can come join me. We got a nice little bed tonight. All right, you, you put them on the bed, and the bed just <laughs> a little bit, you know. I'm gonna spend most of the night kind of inching away from the hole and slowly sliding back into <laughs> it. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Um, you make your way down. It's about uh, eleven. No, sorry. I want to say it's probably midnight to close to one o'clock right now. You hear a uh, very few uh, people out in the streets that are kind of like either finishing up um, their tavern. Uh, mischief and heading home or to their respective spots you make your way down to the the dock district and you do find the rusty anchor and i stand there and i look towards it and realize maybe not not yet and i go back to the uh i go back to the red herring and have a few drinks with joseph to wind the night down just because it was not three days that you don't kill, call her back? Not, right. not, not quite. It was more like what she said, kind of, I was like, that. that's a good point. And as I was walking there, I kind of started to show her up, and I was like, no, rest. I can't, I can't, not yet. And good so. thing about the Middle Ages, you can't drunk dial and drunk text. It's, it's, right. There's at least like Maybe a 20-minute walk. Stock. That's so oh, <laughs> high, high when I was like, Donna, do you miss Ada? Oh. And I did. More than I thought I would. <laughs> so, I go and just okay. grab a drink from Joseph, and of no consequence, just have it. I, I eventually sneak back to where they okay. are. Okay, all right. Um, you go ahead and make a, an acrobatics check again, as the doors to the, the front are closed. It's a couple hours past this, hopefully. Like, oh, right, yeah, okay. you're, you're about, like, maybe, it's about 2 o'clock, nearing, like, the, that uh, witching hour. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Okay. It's natural cool. 18. You begin to climb the beams. Carefully climb the tiles, and the window's still open there. And I just pop myself down right. and pop yourself back in, and, and go into you, trance. You go back into your trance. You can still see the, you can still see a little bit of color, and you see the uh, the large uh, gas giant overhead illuminating the entire window inside the room. There, a little bit of a blue hue to it. You can just barely see it in the uh, in your blindfold. And it reminds me of a certain person, and I go into a trance. <laughs> the commotion obviously wakes Camille. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. you know, so and then because she stirs, I wake up too. And uh, what do you? Yeah, but I, I just kind of like go like. I don't put it over. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Do I notice you? 
Do you want me to notice you? Oh, okay. Then, then no, I think I'm I'm deep into my cups right, and yeah. also into my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to get my attention? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but you, 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 both of you notice. Both of you wake up and just Camille will go back down to. Did Trixie take off her shoes tonight? Did you? I mean, if I'm sleeping in a bed, yeah. You notice a a few <laughs> extra hairs on your feet. Just a few. All right. Oh, there's quite a few. <laughs> yeah. There's, you have hobbit feet, essentially. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep anyways. It, not gonna it, it actually, it, you see it, and it, at first it's, it kind of bugs you, but then you realize it's adding a nice, it's like a sock, and it adds a little bit of comfort to you, and you're like, oh, okay. I love socks. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it kind of helps you, uh, it aids you in, a, in an odd way to, to fall asleep, but you know it's there. You know it's there. <laughs> Jingles in the other bed has his one eye open and he gets frustrated and starts writing something else down. <laughs> <laughs> Are you homebrewing your own spells? <laughs> it's, awesome. it's, only, it's only like petty revenge spells. That's mm -hmm. really all it is. Mm -hmm. Right, you guys have your, uh, your sleep. You wake up the next day. And there's a knock on your door uh, early in the morning. And breakfast is ready. And your footsteps as you kind of get a little bit startled. You're a little knocking down the, the hall there. Mm -hmm. I get up and just kind of begin to stretch. Ugh, I don't want to sleep. Good morning, Don Ash. Good morning, Did you Matthew. have a nice time with Ada? I went to the Rusty Anchor and uh -huh. she actually must have hosted camp somewhere else. She oh, wasn't there. I I'm know. sorry. It was unfortunate, but mm. maybe next time. The breakfast is ready downstairs. Oh, the breakfast is ready, Trixie. Yeah. You can you can smell it. It's uh, um, eggs and bacon, just like uh, the other Ooh. one. But it, it seems like there's a little bit of like more spices used now. Um, there's like uh, like the hash brown smell wafting up, and it's it's the best continental breakfast you've seen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> as far as a uh, tavern or inn or establishment oh, like that yeah. will we'll hand you. So well, um, I would expect nothing less from this establishment. So I take my uh, my pelt Rug? and mm -hmm. just put food in it. Don Ash, Don Ash. Does think anyone you're, see? <laughs> don't think you're supposed to. If he's out in the open, oh yeah, they okay. they totally see. You know, they just everyone who is eating breakfast, and they're mostly to themselves. Their their voices are pretty much uh, lowered and just whispering to each other, trying not to make it uh, too rowdy. And they hear a commotion. They all stop and stare at you. It's for the children. <laughs> Yes, yes. No child, Amalthus. Oh, Jesus, Trisha. That is not my name. <laughs> and Trixie. You keep changing it up time. Charity, gosh. Used to yeah. charity. Starving children. Didn't yes. you guys talk about something helping the starving orphans, right? That's it. Yes. So you're getting to. Yes, it's all so. going to a very good, noble cause. And of course, this establishment is going to get the recognition it deserves. You're, yes. you're, and you're looking at several people who are all looking at you. They're all just kind of like. And then I have a mouthful of bacon. I go, oh, noble cause. Oh, we're gonna take a donut. Why don't so you come? I'm just come gonna, I'm just gonna stand behind him and just kind of be my imposing self while looking out at the crowd, daring them to say anything. Can I, can I just put a hand behind both of them and start to kind of guide them back, yeah. back to the stairwell? I'm move in front and just get her food and move on. <laughs> <laughs> move ahead of the line. Yes. Like, I, 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 I don't even want the bacon. Long. I just want, yeah. <laughs> Guys, don't forget, this is a, this is a nice establishment. These are very wealthy, powerful. People they who might afford to be have willing some to pay us money if they dear. like us enough. They might hire us to do other things for them. Jingles, we've been on a ship for the past ten days. I have not seen food this good in a while. I'm also a little bit hungover. Oh, oh, <laughs> Leave me to my devices, and I just start eating. <laughs> like, yeah, on a just, plate, like oh, a normal person. Yes, like a normal person. Yes, a Malfia understands. Yes, there is a time and a place to plate. eat like an animal. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go back to the table and grab him a plate and bring it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This seat. is my place, and I just start. Were you raised in a cave? Trixie, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> Story for another time. Uh, okay. Well, yes, well, your, your yes I will try and yes, I will. Yeah. I will hang yeah, with yeah. the Malthia, and we will. We will be civilized. Mm -hmm. uh, every now and then, she will kind of like nudge you and just poke you with her nose. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm just gonna throw something mm -hmm. underneath the table. Immediately, just yes. starts it all the way down. She's quiet about it. She's not making a whole lot of noise, but all right. It's a good dog. Where do you guys go? 
Well, well, what do we have on our agenda right now? Yeah, I do think we have anything? Last we week we uh, have to go find some kids to feed. Yes, our, the orphans, and then um, Let's make the, the lie true. Missing, <laughs> the orphans <laughs> and the missing <laughs> wizard, right? Huh? I think it was the the orphan and the missing wizard. I know we uh, we talked about Enchanter. last night. Mm -hmm. Enchanter, Enchanter, missing Enchanter. So those are those are two. Did you say that you had something? Oh yes. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna put on my mismatch gloves on the, our outing today. You're already today. on. Oh, I've been wearing them the whole time. Uh, you you failed your saving throw. You now look down. You think about it, and you realize you look down. And you're like, oh, that's creepy. Right. Oh. <laughs> you <laughs> guys, you may see gloves that, to you, appear slightly discolored, meaning that they they are a matching pair, but just one's barely a little bit off. Mm -hmm. And it's in fact, may everyone make a perception check. Yes, can I make it with advantage because I hate mismatched things. <laughs> <laughs> perception check? Oh. Eight. I don't, I don't okay, know. that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> perception check? Okay. Perception check. Oh, oh, it's a nine plus 16. a one. It's a ten. Eight. Okay, so, um, Don Ash, you actually, you, it's interesting because you, unfortunately, you don't see the color change, mm. but something feels off. Like, you notice that she's actually wearing different gloves in general that she didn't have uh, previously. Okay, so he had I'm gloves on before, but now they're they're different. They feel different. They're like a different texture, you know. Um I go over to to I drop a coin near Trixie, very subtly. Okay. And I and I pick it up and go, oh, I think you dropped this. Yes, I did. Do I feel her hands? <laughs> Do I feel the gloves? Um Yeah, you, you can you, you make contact and it doesn't like feel anything. Out of the ordinary. No, I just feel like a glove, so. Okay. Thanks, Donna. When she, when, yeah, <laughs> after she's grabbed it, I, I grab her hand and I go, these are quite nice. Thank you, yes they are, aren't they? Have you always had these? Oh no, they're very old, but if you've noticed, they're slightly mismatched. And people say it's such mismatched things, and it weren't for a while when we first started hanging out. Oh, they just, they feel, feel nice. Yeah, very soft, right? Very unique, yes, That's very why unique. I got them. Now that they're talking about them, can I see them? <laughs> <coughs> okay. All right, Trixie. Why on earth do you have mismatched gloves? You've seen these before. I have never seen these you before. Commented on them. I would never let you into public with them before. <laughs> yes, what you said before. You said you didn't like mismatched things, so then I didn't wear them anymore. But they're really soft. Is she trying to deceive me right now? I think you're trying to deceive me. <laughs> why do you always shame her so? Can I? <laughs> do I roll a deception check? Um, can I? You roll it with advantage. If you want to do an insight, you roll it with disadvantage. Oh, that's Okay. Bad. Yeah, I was gonna say so. Okay, that's right. better. I believe her. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-one. That's a thirteen. Yeah. Okay. Um. For the most part, yeah, it's, it's, right. so it's I have, sound. I have allowed her out into public with these, then. Well, yeah, something inside you're like, oh, well, I mean, I probably would have said something about yeah. it, but maybe she did, and yeah. Jingles, All right. they're pretty much the same. The, but they're, they're not the same. They're close, well, but they're not the same. That well, makes it that much worse. Yeah. We're not much better. But you're, like, finicky about that kind of stuff. Like, no. if they're old, like, one of them might have just gotten a bit wet one day. You know what I mean? Can I try and press to digitate whatever one is, like, duller? Can I see if I can? Sure, you, you try it and yeah, nothing happens. Oh. Your magic might not be very uh, good. We should go. It's just gloves. <laughs> jingles, come on. I kind of look what at Jingles and it's very strange. I don't know. Just as a question, how long have I had these on? Did I have them on since the beginning? Because I thought I just pulled up, but did I like, did I put so them on? No, no, you, 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 you had them with you and um, at the moment when you wanted to bring them out okay. to talk to him about them. Time? You you had them on. You don't okay. recall. Actually, it was like the night of the whisper. Mm. Okay. When the, the sword was. Mm. Talking to you. <laughs> Too many creepy voices They're in nice. my head. That's fine. We so exchange a glance, yeah. and then that's about it. Yeah, me. So what what's our options? The enchanter that's missing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's much of an option. He's all the way in Masthead, which yeah, is so eleven days to travel mm -hmm. north. Ways away. Well, he was currently with you. He's gonna be kind of walking around you and like nibbling off of your your thing. And he's oh yeah, I'll, I'll let him. Uh, I'll let him and he and yeah, yeah. He can have uh, all kinds of goodies. I yeah, good boy. Have after he's done, he jumps over to on your shoulder. And as I say, I have two suggestions. And he can catch right here and go one, <laughs> one. I feel that maybe we should go, you know, go find wherever these these kids, these orphans are. We find a gathering place, put their food there, and 
work that out. We've already paid lots of money. We might as well see that through. Mm-hmm. What's what's the story? Because I'm sorry, I must have missed the story with the orphans. Right. So we, uh, out of character, wait, or in character? Are you asking the character? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who we're I think Jingles on. only got the aftermath, also. Yeah, we actually weren't there with you. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Well, okay. So back in character. Um. Well, after we had saw Rodin with his cart um, and the goblins, as I'm sure you remember, they have they're now sending yeah, their with wares their here. Yeah, Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. We saw that child try to rob, or try to steal an apple. We stopped that, and then Hylene took it upon herself to see if we could not figure out a deal where we could get them to deliver a week's worth, a week's worth of food every week for three months. And we paid a mighty fine coin for it as well. So, so we're gonna go find that. I would suggest you guys come along because I feel like five pairs of eyes is better. Than, well, four pairs of eyes is better than none. Uh, <laughs> and then after that, since we are both. A bit short on coin after the transaction. Maybe we go and see if we can fill our purses at the Rusty Anchor with whatever our good chum hmm. its activities might be. What? Well, the streets of Contessa apparently uh, are notorious for street fighting, if we are to believe Ando. Maybe it's a good betting opportunity for us. You're going to do a bare knuckle fight? Huh? Well, now that you say that, that might not be so, a bad idea. Right? I think we could. And then how about you? Would you like to try? Uh, think about it. Okay. Huh. Well, Skeet is kind of like uh, you, you, you put the locket on, correct? Mm-hmm. Skeet's kind of like just hanging around and like poking at it a little bit. You know, what is going on? And I see the locket. And I look at him and I go, "Do you want this?" Oh. Just a long, like a thousand yards stare in your direction. I delicious. open it up. Does that change anything for him? Nothing, nothing has changed. I mean, not for the locket anyway, but he goes over and smells it. And Why do we miss him, Bellish? Do you miss Bellish? Oh, that makes me really sad. Well, Skeet, you have done quite... You've traveled quite far with us, and we might have put you in some kind of danger, and you've helped us along the way. <laughs> but... Is Skeet's a boy or a girl? Is boy. But maybe it's time you get back to your owner. The only problem is that he's quite far away. So we'll take the trip for you. It will be done. It's just going to take some more time. I did not realize you could understand this much. <laughs> Very smart. Apparently. I we have been him. woefully misusing you. <laughs> 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 um, sorry, Skeet. And I pull out a ration. Or no, <laughs> so the crumbs from my pelt. <laughs> oh I kind of gather those, and I he, just like he, hand like, it, he's, he, his eyes go wide. And oh, no. I just yeah, he, he's inside there. He's actually kind of clinging onto the one uh, the side of the, yeah, uh, the yeah. pelt there. Cool like kangaroo. And as I look at, I go, maybe we should return him soon as well. Mm-hmm. What do you say? I think so. I will miss him, but yeah. it might be for the best. Mm-hmm. But after the close call with the water, yeah, I certainly don't want to yeah, die on our behalf. That was true. So, <laughs> maybe, uh, do we want to stay another night here, or after we deal with the children and the food situation, do we want to go ahead and head north? Well, well we, yeah, we only have one night yeah, at this fine establishment, yeah. so... Maybe we may as well go ahead and push forward, then. Well, I was looking forward to bet, but if you guys seem to be set your ways, then we'll come back another time. Mm-hmm. I'm then. sure we can find other jobs. We will we always, after. yes, we'll always have the opportunity for tussles in Quintessa. Should we look at, uh, should we look at the bounty board <laughs> and see if there's <laughs> something <laughs> we can take with us? I think that's actually yeah. a good idea, yes. I think it might be a good idea to pay a visit to the bounty board. Okay. Doubling so up? Yeah, good see pass. what's over there. Just to see what's out there, and if it happen, if we happen to see anything that we can, you know, knock out two birds with one yeah. stone, then uh, why not? You know... Jingle, I would go ahead and suggest. Uh, people here don't seem to really care for, for me and my habits, but maybe go around the tavern and ask some of these noble people about Wilhelm. Maybe they might have seen him. Or hmm. Some of these folks have got to have traveled on the road. Maybe they saw a, a wizard with fiercely blue eyes. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yes, he did have those blue eyes. Damn it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Do you want to help? <laughs> uh, are you actually going to help me? Are you going to take my money again? <laughs> All right, come along. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's uh, let's do a little scan around the room. Okay. Let's see if there, yeah, see if there happens to. As that's happening, I look at it, Matthew, and I go, 
One plus. Twenty-two. You might be able to run to Trith. Oh, a natural bit. twenty. Wow. Perfect. Super protective. You guys look around the room and you guys uh, spy a gentleman in a blue coat, uh, like a gold uh, rope around the edges. And he's got buttons, golden buttons as well, and he's kind of like just stretching out back and kind of going, and lounging back down in his chair. He looks like our man. That he does. <laughs> There's no one. She was in a full her. like feeding mode. <laughs> <laughs> Get the buttons. <laughs> I forgot what we were doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I think uh, yeah. So we'll we'll kind of casually approach and uh, Jingles will yeah take his uh, take his little glass kind of swirl it around. And is there a seat near the uh, near the man? There's currently one uh, opposite of him. He's got a like a small table. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually kind of like a booth towards the side of the, the establishment. Gotcha. Okay. He can sit there, I'll lean against the table. So, oh, sir. Wow, well, uh, oh, fine morning. Fine morning to you. Yeah, I believe that uh, this is a fine a fine day for a nice little stretch about town. Indeed, it is. Are you a, a local? I am. By any chance? I am. Huh. Jingles. Reginald. Oh, no, don't worry, I got that. <laughs> he goes in like... <laughs> it's the big gaudy ring on my I finger. I so sorry. It's quite alright. Oh, um, Trixie. Oh, Reginald. Can I do an insight check to see how he looks at her? Okay, go ahead. Violet's at you. Oh, I don't know why I rolled. 18. <laughs> 18. Uh, I mean, he, he's more startled uh, at, at you even walking over to him right now. Okay, so alright, that's fair. It's, it's not so much uh, that he is uh, it's not looking like at a, her. Like, no, yeah. yeah. It's just much like a... That could be an advantage. Oh, the bells. <laughs> that's a, well, that's, a, that's what I was kind of hoping. I was like, mage hand a button. <laughs> <laughs> it hits him in the forehead. Like, oh. <laughs> uh, but, uh, sorry, you said, you said you were a local. Oh, yes, I am. We are uh, we are traveling currently. We're looking at heading up north. Uh, have you, by any chance, been up that way? Uh, I have, yes, sir, to uh, as far north as uh, Sternlock. Ah, well, you certainly look like a very well-traveled man, I must say. Well, I, I sell wine. Sell wine? Mm, indeed. Good place to be what, in. What vintage? Oh, uh, all types. Uh, this is my winery. Very nice. Oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Jingles yeah. is going to straighten up just a little bit more. Well, I must say, this is the finest establishment I have stayed at in quite we a We try to time. keep it that way, yes. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, in the background, I'm playing yeah, the on She's with Elm Wolf, <laughs> and this is a gargantuan armored. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a little green little man. <laughs> right. <laughs> just to paint the True. picture. <laughs> Well, we were uh, we were looking for a place to stay, and uh, our we had initially uh, mm. been visiting the Red Herring, and our friend over there said oh. that there was no finer establishment in town. And uh, for a slightly nicer place yeah, a little stay. little this would be it. Yeah. Upscale. Your suite was fantastic. Oh. Speaking of very nice things, I was hoping to find some jewelry that was um, perhaps enchanted, and we were told that Wesley might be able to help us, but he seems to. Wesley. Yeah, but, but someone couldn't, we couldn't find yeah. him. Have you heard Willem Wester. Willem, Willem, yes. Willem, did I, oops? Yes, <laughs> Willem, Willem. Oh, Quite all right. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, the, the gentleman known as uh, Willem, uh, he runs an establishment down the road, uh, Wester's Wondrous Works. Yeah, yes. we stopped by, but we weren't able to find him. Have you heard? Oh, I mean, yes, I do, I do believe he traveled north. Um, uh, I also heard the rumors that he hasn't gone missing. I don't really recall anything else other than that. Well, that's a shame. We are very much looking forward to go seeing him. Um, and please forgive me, you've told us a great deal about yourself. Let me, uh, allow me to introduce ourselves. Uh, we are actually a, uh, a band of adventurers, uh, and we were recently employed by the Duke himself to oh. retrieve the Viscount, um, which we just returned from doing, and we thought that we wanted to celebrate, and that was when we came to you. Oh, I see. Uh, so we are, we have been hoping to find Willem, uh, but we've run into several roadblocks, so to say. Uh, would you happen to know of anyone who might know more about him or uh, where he has been? Um, I mean, I, I, I briefly heard maybe something about Cephalon, or maybe as far north as... Uh, Cephalon might be the, the best place. Is, uh, is it dangerous around these times? Cephalon typically is a, a seedy town. I, I don't like to travel mm -hmm. there. I do travel through there, 
and occasionally will sell casks and a lot of stuff like that. Of wine, but you uh, travel yourself. Oh, sometimes. Ah, only impressive. when the deal is really good. A businessman who sells his own product. I am very impressed. Uh, I mean, I've got people for that, but sometimes but. I like to be there in person. <laughs> <laughs> well. Should you ever need someone to uh, assist you in those travels, uh, please take my card. And I would like to press to digitate a, uh, a little card. Okay. Um, he goes to grab it. It only lasts <laughs> yeah. for six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> like and a I'll minor illusion. Like, like, I'll kind of flash it to him. I'll just kind of. <laughs> the, the front has like a, a <laughs> yeah. bell. A light, uh, it's like purple yeah. with a little bell. It's like and gold. And right. Yeah. yeah. Jingle. I, <laughs> yes. Uh, Mr. Jingle <laughs> is my name. And you can find okay. any of us. Uh, we will probably be traveling around these parts several times over the next few months. Um, a magic practitioner, I see. Ah, oh. you noticed. Oh, oh indeed. Oh, That's Jingles will kind of. <laughs> do do you um, are you for hire for deliveries? Well, Sometimes my wagons get uh, raided from bandits all along the King's Road. We typically don't do that, but if you happen to be headed in the same direction as us, we would be happy to be. There is, in fact, a caravan uh, leaving. Oh, goodness. He just lo looks down at uh, um, his wine and. I've drunk it too much. Um, I believe it's. Uh, Never done it. I, I believe it's, it's like 8 in the morning. On, <laughs> its, on its way out now, there's, I think, two or three uh, wagons. Ah. All right. Well, of course, you know the, we the we may be willing to uh, perform such a task for uh, for a friend, if you don't mind me saying. We at this point. to talk to our companions, and she looks over and sees Don and I still eating. They're no, not here. No, don't, don't, don't look in that. Don't look in that direction. No, no, that's what I mean. They're not here right now, but we'll, we'll find them in it. All right. Uh, it, it does pay. Just love uh, you. Ten gold a day. If you ten gold a day. I think that we might be able to assist you. How much did we get for Bellish? It was ten gold. It was well. ten gold a day. That's the going rate. Oh, <laughs> so we up and went. Yeah, yeah. I guess we are. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I believe. Um, Sounds like wagons, which is a nice place to stay. Money and seven. people to travel with. Yeah, because I just want to make sure. Seven gold a day. Is okay, all right. So do. ten is a ten is good. Okay, I just want to make sure too. we're not. You went to college, I see. <laughs> 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 yeah, just want to make sure we're not getting that. Shafted. So yes, uh, well, <laughs> I think uh, that sounds like a, a lovely deal, and perhaps uh, when we return, we'll find you again, and perhaps we can have other business arrangements. All right. So um, if, if you do, just head up to the stables. I believe the fine gentleman's name is uh, Jorgen. Uh, he'll be able to help you out with the arrangements. Jorgen at the stables, and uh, one more time, your your name was Reginald. Reginald. Reginald, who such a nice name. Yeah, such a very Reginald nice name. Wayne. Owner of the vineyard. The old vineyard. vineyard. That's yeah. right. The old vineyard. The oh, old vineyard. Doing right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no stinking books. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you. Pleasure, my dear. Yes. I'm sure we'll cross paths again soon. Indeed, we will be back to we'll visit. Take your uh, again. Very soon. Yes. Oh. Thank you, I appreciate that. So, enjoy the rest of your morning. Indeed. He looks at his wine again and he's like, oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good man. So I am licking my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then loading up some more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I do. A little bit. A couple, I went for seconds yeah. while you guys were gone. Important question. Did they have any freebies in the room? Like shampoos, conditioners, <laughs> things like that. <laughs> 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 he took it's the heat. Motel six. We noticed that now his bag of holding is filled with a mattress, <laughs> yeah. and the pillows. Now the, the haversack is like the bulging. fixtures. There, there was a cloth uh, doused in kerosene. Should you want to use it for a torch, that was left oh. in a um, like a, a, a like a metal box. Is that a weird thing to have? Not really, not necessarily. If you want, it, there there was a uh, okay. um, like a uh, sconce in the room. Okay, all right. If you if you burnt out the old one, you wanted another one to wrap it in. That's what you would I'll take it. I'll take it. I think yeah. candles would work just as yeah. fine in this place. Yeah, but but that's that's not not. Oh, torches. Yeah, kerosene. Kerosene. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, yeah, you guys are yeah. inside, yeah. inside the the old vineyard. That you notice that there are large barrels attached to the wall. Huge barrels, um, and you can see a window that peers out into the actual vineyard itself. And it's a small vineyard. It's it's not too, mm -hmm. not as grand as uh, like an outward. Um, 
vineyard out in the um, the farmlands or whatever. But he keep he tends to it, keeps it a pretty well hit. And you see that there are like large chandeliers of metal that you couldn't see in the night uh, previously, but yeah. candles lit up in there and just a lot of ornate uh, cool. uh, doodads on cool. the, the wall and hanging down from. Surprise, Trixie hasn't done anything yet. It's amazing. It's a nice place. The restraint. It, they're mostly iron, amazing. so I mean, there's nothing oh, shiny. Right. And Never mind. I can't. <laughs> Did you take the the rag? Oh, I took the rag. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I totally took the rag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm stuffing it in there. Sure. From the probably from remembering what. Yeah. Okay. What Cat did or Amalthea did back in uh, the tavern. Molotov cocktail. Yeah. Remember that shit? Anyways, um, so do I see them approach? Are you are you guys walking back towards us? Uh, towards yeah. you. Yeah. We're, uh, <laughs> well, we're I think gonna motion towards you and <laughs> yeah. walk out. Okay. You you see a little motion. No, oh, I go. <laughs> <laughs> and I get it. Yeah, off All onto the, the crumbs, floor. Yeah. And then I uh, I turn around and go to everyone in the room. <laughs> and then I <laughs> walk out. Immediately you see people going like that, and the rest of you who are, are yeah, still there, like jingles. Did he just, just did he just give us a obscene gesture? <laughs> yeah. And then as I walk out, the weasel yeah. my head. Yeah. Is kind of like just like in a um, forward position, just grabbing onto your hair, mm-hmm. pointing out, mm-hmm. tail straightened out too. Yeah. <laughs> I joined them outside as well. All right. Uh, Camille follows you, and as you guys uh, leave the establishment. You can now see the vineyard off to the, the left there. So, did Let's you find uh, any information on mm-hmm. our man Weston? Not as much information as I would have liked. However, uh, we were able to secure ourselves a little bit of payment and a ride up uh, there. Let's see well, that on our what? Way out impressive. Yeah. There's to talk to. Yeah. So uh, that he gentleman over there, with us, eh? Reginald. Yes, mm-hmm. Reginald. Me, Bill He was the I owner. I believe it. <laughs> the owner of the establishment, mm-hmm. and uh, he. Oh, he owns the vineyard. He owns the vineyard. He's oh. a very, very nice guy. Uh, what, what are we delivering exactly? Wine, well, just I believe. sure that his wine caravan gets there. His I water think. caravan gets there safely. I'm sorry. Really? I what feel like does. you said yes. something uh, along the, oh, the fermented grape the variety. W. Well, water. Yes. Oh, water. no. Well, it's what he makes the wine out of later. It, it sounds <laughs> like our job here is to protect yeah, it's not drink said it caravan water. from... Uh, I'm yeah. sure that, you know, it's, the journey's going to be quite long, and I'm sure the horses or whatever is pulling these carts are going to get tired eventually. It might be good to wine. lighten the load at some point on the road. I'm just saying. If it's water, you know, all the better flow, we could probably get to the horses, too. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Fantastic. Great to get. deal with robbers, you watch him. <laughs> so. Are we getting paid for this, too? <laughs> yes, we are, actually. Ten 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 wine. Gold pieces a day. Fantastic. This is the best day of my yeah, life. You can't be drinking the cargo. You do it. You do it. Oh, God. He's, he's t- tasting it, making sure that it is not spoiled on the road. I am already thinking of all the songs we will sing on this journey. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yay. You still have your handcuffs, right, Jingles? Uh, I do. I do. I like where your guys' heads are at. We this will be a those. fun trip. <laughs> <laughs> Jingles, you should see, you speak to fancy men more often. That was a great get. <laughs> and bring Trixie along to do all the talking, of course. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll make sure to do that. I'll make sure to do that. Uh, well, okay, great. So... We want to visit the Bounty Board very quickly to see if there's anything in Cephalon. Again, we're, we're leaving quickly. I think, well, we yeah, still I have think, to figure oh, out about the go, Bounty. Let's do the children. Oh, yeah, children. let's do the children yeah. and then head straight over. This, uh, when, <laughs> we get to, when we get to Cephalon, we should be able to look at their board and see what they have in town. Now, but you didn't find any information on the... Unfortunately not. It seems like no. there is a chance that he is... He's certainly made his way north, and he's been missing for some time now, but it seems that uh, nope. nobody really seems to know, at least here, where mm. he may he have gone. Or to think that he went yes. there on purpose, well, but he, whether... Here's a suggestion, as the thunder hits. <laughs> 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 and I got a devilish look in my face. Um, back back where I'm from, uh, in the end of the dark, there, there were certain people with abilities that could potentially see... Uh, and tell fortunes. Now, I don't know if that runs true here in Quintessa, but maybe finding someone like that would be... Might be better of finding someone like that in Cephalon. And I have always been skeptical of those anyway. What if we miss on our way to Cephalon, like where we miss where he could have been? Okay, well, are you, like, super serious about that? about finding someone like right now they're looking We don't have a lot of time. Yeah. The caravan's going to be leaving quickly. Uh, but that's not exactly why we're going up the north entirely anyways, right? 
Oh, okay. really? Squeak. Squeak. Yeah. Squeak. 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 Or not, Hylene Leodon would live her life in service to Athena, for Athena's will has shaped her family's destiny since ancient times. Her father is the only child of Ariadna Galanili, one of the most revered high priestesses in recent Athenai history. Being Ariadna's only known female descendant, it was assumed Hylene would follow in her footsteps and become a high priestess. But Athena, being all-knowing and wise, envisioned a different path for her. Hylene was summoned to the temple in her hundredth year and having no useful skills to bring to Kalanduin, her childhood home, she accepted and entered the Athenai Seminary. Sadly, her performance as a priestess in training was disappointing. It was not until Hylene met Shalia, a paladin in the Wise One's service, that she felt something stir in her, a deep feeling that this was the path she was supposed to travel. Though it was unprecedented for a Galanili descendant, Hylene broke with the seminary and apprenticed under Shalia for ten years. Now she ventures into the world to impart Athena's wisdom and to protect civilization from those who would seek to destroy it. Ashes fell from the sky as the shrieks traveled on the breeze. Weeping children offered their still beating hearts to the drow boy and his warrior mother as their tears sizzled on the cinders at their feet. The city fell, embers filled the night, and Don Ash awoke. His eyes irritated him from beneath his blindfold, but to remove it would break his vow. The vision that woke him from his trance was as bright as the fires it had shown. It was time to end his self-imposed solitude. In an effort to atone for his sins, Don Ash shed the Underdark and his name to be reborn beneath the bright Tremahian sun. After the murder of his mother, a blinding rage overtook his mind and he tore his hometown asunder. For a century, he had exiled himself in the Waikatura Mountains to hone his mind and spirit to never fall to such rage again. It was the vision that showed him how selfish his exile had been. No matter how much control Don Ash had over his own spirit, others would fail to squelch their rage and the innocent would fall prey once again. So from that day on, Don Ash left the mountain and began traveling from town to town, sharing meals with strangers and reveling in the joys of their stories and humor. He left his brooding self behind in that cave and chose to liven up taverns with jests and song. Adapting to his new lifestyle well, he realized the true way of how to prevent those from making the same mistake he had made long ago, and that was to keep tangards raised high and everyone's spirits raised higher. Amalthea should have had the world at her feet. Her mother was a purebred elf, a promising young woman of wealth and favor. But her mistake was to fall in love beneath her station. Her passion at night with a wandering ranger, a human, left her with child and spurned by society. She managed to keep the semblance of an ordinary life, but Amalthea quickly became the target of bullying, stares, whispers and giggles anywhere she went. In response, she became an outcast, a thief, a creature of the night. The generations have a way of repeating themselves, and during a long night at her favorite tavern, a ranger, half-elven like herself, stole her heart at a glance. She left with him the next morning to learn the art of hunting and tracking, 
as well as the humbling experience of unrequited love. The night he finally became her lover, he was killed in a sudden attack by a dragon, and her life descended into darkness once again. Not knowing where to turn or what to do, rage and fire burning in her heart, she stumbled upon this motley crew. Altricia the Half-Elf was born in a prominent house to a high-born human mother and a nameless elven father, a blazing emblem of a shameful affair. But as with most noble scandals, the affair was quickly and quietly brushed under the rug and the child was put into the care of the manor staff. With that, Trisha, the orphan, was born. Trisha's true origins were kept a secret from everyone, including her, and she was raised as a maidservant to the daughter of the estate her half-sister, Sharina. As the years passed, the two grew up side by side, never knowing the secret between them. That is, until one fateful day when, at her mother's deathbed, Sharina learned the secret of Trisha's birth. Sharina, stunned by the revelation and terrified of what it could mean for her, threw her half-sister out into the night. And it was there, on the cold streets of Masthead, that Trixie, the rogue, was born. Trixie had to learn to fend for herself from day one. As a young girl alone in the city, she didn't have the luxury of second chances. As she began to learn the tricks of the trade, she found that her slight frame, doe eyes, and darling smile lent themselves well to a less than lawful lifestyle. While she may not always follow the letter of the law, she will always do what she feels is right. Although, you might want to watch your coin purse. Master of the Arcane and Bounty Hunter Extraordinaire, John Jingles is half sorcery, half sass, and entirely fabulous. At just over a year old, Baby Jingles toddled his way out of the mystical forest and into the arms of the elves. They knew he was going to be trouble after a wave of his hand turned a set of priceless silk curtains into a side-tucked slim-fit diaper with matching ascot. He blossomed into a confident, eccentric young man and devilishly handsome, if I do say so myself. But John's gift for the arcane was truly extraordinary, eventually surpassing even that of the elves, and they bullied him relentlessly for it, until John finally found the courage to fight back. Which, long story short, got him kicked out of town and into a traveling acting troupe, where he spent his nights cold and hungry, wondering what his purpose was in this lonely world. But hey, I'm being a Debbie Downer, you don't want to hear about the sad bits. You want to hear about the fun stuff like catching bad guys and making money, right? Thought so. One day while performing, John saw a thief steal an old man's coin purse. And all at once, something in him awakened. In a flash, he leapt from the stage in hot pursuit. And after a dramatic chase through the city streets, John magically catapulted a watermelon right at the crook's head. With the bad guy caught, the crowd cheering, and a fat sack of reward money in hand, it suddenly became clear that our young adventurer had at long last found his calling. John fluffed his ascot, popped his collar, and set off to become the bedazzled bounty hunter hero Tremachia deserved. Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry about that issue. We actually had a brownout here uh, in the studio. So, um, but hey, you're back. Uh, uh, do we have a winner, Lydia? Uh, Henry Agrippa. Henry Agrippa. Hey! Yay! Go ahead and message. Henry Agrippa. Henry Agrippa. I, know. Yeah. Agrippa. I have studied Agrippa. Henry Agrippa. <laughs> um, hey, uh, go ahead and message uh, TT Admin for uh, the wonderful thing. You're going to be getting one of. Well. The catch of candles that we have out there, a walk in the woods. Heck yeah, bud. Dude, you're gonna love it. So and if you wanna see how this is done yeah. properly, that's the It's not on you, buddy. They can't see it. They can't see it's on me. You want me to do this? Yeah. No, it's gonna go top it. Top it. Alright, all right. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna burn crap on your face again. Ooh, you just explode. take some cinnamon that I forgot to do earlier <laughs> and then you just sprinkle that on oh, top. It smells really good now. It will smell good. Oh, that's the cancer man. candle. Actually. We have one lit right here. <laughs> and now, Henry, this is actually a walk in the woods. 
So Whoa, if, if you leave your face next to the screen and take a big whiff, <laughs> you will get a sample of Christoph Vischer's? Vischer? Mm -hmm. Vischer? Mm -hmm. Vischer? Sure. Yeah. Cantrip Candles uh, test scent. There you go. Yeah. Let that cool off. <laughs> then you can drink it. Nice. All right, guys. Uh, nice so, subtle plug. So thank you guys for signing with us. Uh, Congratulations, through our, thanks, guys. Yay. Through our We're tech back. stuff. Um, <laughs> again, this is actually not on our end, so yay. Um, yeah. But uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, as the the crew were heading over and discussing what they might do, they were considering uh, heading over to a seer. They were talking about uh, the bounty boards, taking a look at them, and also finding the, uh, the poverty uh, stricken children mm -hmm. of Quintessa. And that is where we. So we're jumping break. right back in. Um, I think this is where we left off. So, there, you know, kind of funny. Um, back where I'm from, there was a bit of a practice of people with a unique sense, another worldly sense, where they could see a bit uh, further than the rest of us, if you catch my drift. Mm -hmm. We may be able to find one of those seers here in town. I don't know if it's a thing that they do in Quintessa, but it might help us get some more information. For see the further, do you mean like a spyglass? I mean, we saw some of those, I'm sure. <laughs> well, if you ask Mr. Jingles, there yeah. it is. Um, I actually mean looking past the veil and a bit further into the ether. Magically. Spiritually. Yes. Do you know where we would find no, such yeah. a person? I do not, but I wonder if the city may have one. Now, we do not have any leads, because uh, you said that Reginald... Yes. Right. The only leads that we have is that he headed up north. I think the Just last people who saw him were probably his family, and mm -hmm. so my guess is... Cephalon is the place where we are going to find more accurate whereabouts. Go there on purpose. It wasn't like you know. There's mm -hmm. been rumors that he's missing, but he did go to Cephalon out of his own will. But if he was caught on the road and maybe steered towards a different direction, we may pass him and miss him altogether. However, could we even if we take this job with a caravan? Can <coughs> we even <coughs> bless, bless you. you? Can we even leave that job to Constrain to run after it. him? See it through. Then it would have to be like the one or the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. In which case, we can find a seer and mm -hmm. So, skip it all together here. We can look if you want, but we don't have a lot of time. So, if that's the case, we should split up and you should take care of the kids thing and we can Well, uh, there, there are two of these types uh, back where I'm from. One, well, that was actually a true seer that could give you information that was worth your penny, and another that sold lies, essentially. Mm -hmm. And you could tell mm -hmm. the sort. Now, Who would do such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> these same seers, if I remember correctly, were also very uh, in the know of all underground workings. Not literally, but metaphorically, black market stuff. This may be a good lead for us to go and see if a seer may you know, be privy to where these orphans or these the urchins on the streets gather around. We can maybe, like, he could be a point of contact. He or she could be a point of contact. I, I can see your... I can see the logic in that. Um, however, I was just going to ask the guards. Oh, well, that's <laughs> over. I can also go check where I lost, where the child mm -hmm. ran off to, the thief. Mm -hmm. See if he's still there. How about, yes, how about we all go with you there? Okay. We use that place. We can take it from there while you guys go and see how much time we have before we have to take off okay. and secure our caravan. Or unless you, you want to stick around for the entire thing. If you can promise to behave at the caravan, I can also take a moment to talk to Athena. You see, maybe I can get some leads there on where, uh, what's his name? William. 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 We need to make sure that Athena knows his yes. name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> also, behold, I found the seer. <laughs> <laughs> so Only in the, in the interests of time, I think it might, I mean, it's a great idea if we had a full day. Also, well, we don't know. Um, we don't have a contact. But also, question: If we are important enough as bodyguards, mm -hmm. if you will, for them to pay us ten gold to go and to be with this caravan, surely they would also wait for us for an hour or two. I would if agree. If necessary, I, I would rather than not be on that time because otherwise yes. we don't have anybody. Which is why I'm saying they don't, they don't know we exist. So right. if you were Let's to go and secure the caravan. Oh. Do you want to go all together, or do you still want to be... It might be quicker if Trixie and I go to find the children. I think I might, I might have children. a better sense of where they could possibly be. Well, I'll be heading in that direction with you guys as well. Okay. I'm going right. with you. I will take care of the caravan. So, 
Amalthea, if you would like to come to the caravan, that's totally fine, unless you want to go save children, in which case I totally respect you, but no. that's what I thought. <laughs> I, would, I would like to see these children fed before. <laughs> So I'll be going with Trixie and... You will not be pelting them with coins. No, that's not this time. <laughs> that was a okay. fluke. All right. <laughs> so we're going to get a move on. <laughs> yes, let's get a move on. I'm coming to the caravan. Yes. Okay, so you and I'd like you to go back to where I lost the kid. Okay. I'd like to find a seer. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> are, are I'm following Trixie. Yes. You both are following Trixie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you, Trixie, you guys enter the bazaar once again. And the uh, lively uh, bazaar there, you notice that the one um, booth that was there uh, yesterday is no longer there. They had run the guy off. Nice. There's an empty spot there, but... Um, Give to me. Give me. Mm. Give me him. Well, they do that. I'm going to try and jump up on the roof where I lost <laughs> the child. I'm we'll get it. We'll get it next time. <laughs> In character. We'll get it next time. Hi, <laughs> okay. we, we did that. The booth. Oh, okay. <laughs> You okay. notice that the booth is gone Hylen. now. Yes. Because of it. <laughs> but I'm not understanding the hand. Hyland okay. is the best I foil like to do that. No kidding. No kidding. So what, what are you doing? <laughs> I put orange pills in her. Why? Anyways, way to bring that back. I just keep going <laughs> forward. Okay. Uh, you guys do uh, end up the in, near the alley there, and uh, you notice that there's a, uh, a guardsman there from Quintessa just kind of looking around and making sure nothing else happens. Uh, he sees you guys approach, and uh, this is where the last place you saw the child run up, up onto the roof. So you I don't like know to try and get up on the roof. The guardsman is there, and he goes, I- I'm sorry, what, what are you doing? Get down from there, now! Oh, sir, I'm sorry. Um, we are looking for... He pulls out his sword. And I left weird. something up here the other day. I was just going to look for it. Is that a problem? This is a crime scene. You may have to get out of here. A crime scene? Yes, it and is. Does the crime happen up on the roof? No, but... So I just want to go up on the roof. No one's allowed on the roof. We're just looking for children. I'm oh. sorry, <laughs> what? <laughs> let, let me explain. Good sir. They left a child. We mean no harm. Uh, if you could please uh, put away the weapon and talk like civilized people. Everyone is sitting outside. Per toga. Can I, I'd like to try and just go around the corner of the alley and get up on the roof. Make now. a stealth check. As I'm, as I'm talking to the guy. Sure, sure. Listen, there's no harm, no foul 15. here. Okay, let me... Do I get advantage? Yeah, he's he's yes. focused. Okay. He, he actually has his sword out. Goes no, no, step out out of the alley. Okay, no. we're going, we're going, we're going. But do you mind if you explain? It's crime scene. We didn't know anything about this. Yes, it's uh, it's blocked off for a moment. Um, that's all you need to know. Okay. Well, besides that, um, we've made a deal with uh, the dwarf and goblin booth over there to feed some of the homeless children in this city once a week, and we need to know where they are, do you, or where they gather. The, the goblins and the dwarves, they go, they, what? You're talking about the children, yes. where they gather? Yes, the children. You're talking about the, the poor. Let, 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 okay. The orphans. What she say is true. There is uh, the dwarves from the mountains, they come every week, supplying yes, food. Yes, I know. Them. Right. They, we have struck up a deal with them, oh. because we noticed uh, a couple of hungry children that were resorting to thievery. His, he lowers his weapon slowly as you talk to them more. And we made a deal. Uh, as the good Samaritans that we are, with the dwarves, as we have a history with them, a shorthand, to bring weekly food for the urchins of Quintessa. Now, what we need to know is mm-hmm. where they will deliver this payload of food. These urchins. Yes. These, they're everywhere. I figured. Do you? I mean, come on. Do you have an idea of where they, they sleep at night? Or no, but uh, they have to have some kind of my, my business. I wouldn't know anything like that. Do you know anyone who could tell us? This information? I really mm. don't. I mean, you might want to ask the the more shady people. They seem to. Right. Well, thank you very okay, much. Thank you. Mm. When I talk, I'm trying to get up on the yeah, roof. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and roll. <laughs> Are you, how old was your stealth roll? Oh, <laughs> I didn't get up on the roof though. Uh, it was 15. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that tricks me. Natural one on my ass. You, you, you're climbing. You, you're stealthily, stealthily get up there, get up there, get up there, and then the tile just shink, and you realize that you don't have your balance. And <laughs> <laughs> you land on a crate. It doesn't hurt you so much. Just but a ride. And I pick you up and I go, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, I, 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 and and we're out. Out. <gasps> we're out of sight. All right. So, I, having grown up on the streets, do I have some sense where children often sleep? You, you. That's the weirdest question. <laughs> <laughs> you might. Because there's like typical places, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is like the, the slums of. Uh, Quintessa. Um, they're, they're not uh, actually most of the, uh, the the entire city is actually really well made. 
and there aren't very poor derelict uh, sectors of the, the area. You might think to look maybe near the docks or maybe in the sewers themselves. You guys should go look in the sewers, I think. Great, lead the way. This is why we didn't go with them. Um. <laughs> I don't think. Well, first of all, I'm Trixie, small. Trixie, <laughs> I, I know, I, I know when someone is trying to pull the wool over my eyes. You have wool over your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fabric. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> my point being, you can't just expect us to go in the sewers off of your whim. What kind of? Perhaps where is that? Look at the docks instead. Okay. Well, why? Where's this knowledge coming from? Did you talk to anyone? Yes. I wonder if we could talk to the dock master. Maybe he might know. Yeah, Josh. Josh. I'm sure Josh has seen everyone. As soon as she says Dash, I forget about why she might have knowledge of what kids are, and I'm like, dang, sounds good. Let's go to Dash. (laughs) All right, guys, make your way down to the dock. We're gonna cut to your ship jingles. Yeah. All right, we you are. are yeah, 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 we're making our, we're making our way over there. We're okay, gonna, we're a decent. We're it. Yeah, you, yeah, we're you, hooping it. You guys notice that, that as your guys are are about to head to the stables, the carts are gone. There's no one in the stables except for a small little uh, stable hand, and you see three large wagons, kind of like starting to move just outside the uh, city limits there. Uh, uh, okay. All right. You can I think those are them. They're about like a uh, hundred feet away from me. Okay. I'm 90% positive those are them. I'm going to double check. Do you want to go try and uh, and uh, catch up with them? And I'm going to rendezvous with you in yes. like a minute. Okay. Where, 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 where are you going? I'm going to talk to the stable boy. Just make oh, sure that that's them. Okay. Yes. I'll run up to the thing. Did the fucking okay. caravan leave? I think it just left. Um, All right. So you, you're the closest now, and yeah. the little boy's kind of shoving things. <laughs> He's always running. Why am I always the one running? <laughs> He's going to just, so he's not really going to let you uh, like finish, he's going to give you a little the stable boy. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, oh, oh, I was to my side. Um, uh, is the three caravans that just left, those are the ones yes. that were uh, from the winery. Yes. The old winery. Yes. They were, he didn't tell them to stick around. Why How could you? <laughs> and I'd like to run off after them. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Just kind of. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, and now Amalthy, you yes. eventually you're running over to the the wagons yes. there, and they're they're moving not not really fast. Uh-huh. You can catch up to them, mm-hmm. and you see there is a man out uh, in front of the mm-hmm. front wagon. All three wagons are hitched together, and there are four oxen pulling it. Okay. And it's just. I run up to the man. I say, "Halt, good sir. Oh, what, if what's you don't what's mind, going on here? a minute. Uh, yes, you obviously haven't gotten the memo. Um, here's what's happened. Me and my comrades, we are basically we've been hired to accompany you on this caravan and keep you safe oh, on the pulls road. Pulls the reins. You're kind of walking next to him. He pulls the reins. Uh, Reginald, in fact, had asked us okay, to, yeah. to be a part of your you know your troop. And so I just I wanted to catch up with you and let you know that this is what what had happened and uh, obviously he didn't. <laughs> you eventually make your way up there. <laughs> tell you. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, carry on. Yes, is and this, uh, this is uh, no, yes. He is also he's the another uh, man in our party. Mr. Jingles. He's incredibly useful. I am. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. Um, in, in, and he's well versed in magic and such things. I'm I like to make a sparkle. I'm just totally just. <laughs> it, it kind of looks like it's <laughs> like a fizzle, yeah. like a muffler backfire. You're really tired of. Yeah. <laughs> I am more of a fighter, as you can see. And then we also we he looks have at the a, blades on your side. Um, and then we have other couple of people in our troop that are um, formidable. Okay. You know, security. Sure. Um, guards. As it were. Would you going to just hop on then? Do you have paperwork or, or <clears throat> anything that I can Oh, I, uh, just the, the word of the man himself. He uh, said... Make a perception check with advantage. Uh, we spoke to him just a few minutes ago and he said that you guys were going out of town without the utmost protection. And after a long conversation, uh, I informed him that we are the top of the line in security around mm-hmm. here. And he said that for 10 gold a day... 11? 11, 11 gold a day? Perception. No, 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 no. <laughs> 11 like, perception. Good with job, it, with advantage? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's pretty dire. Oh. <laughs> Shit, did we do that? Huh? Oh, no, it's no, no, it's still for, 10 gold. Oh. Yes, for, uh, for 10 gold a day, uh, you guys would have the best security at your fingertips because you have a very precious cargo, and especially with all of the 
terrible dangers that have been going around up there to the north. He wanted to make sure that you and your men are oh, well taken right. care of. And okay. we've done this kind of job before very successfully, my yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, who was your previous employer, if you don't mind? Oh, the uh, Bellish. Bellish. Yes, mm -hmm. we have a Ah, uh, the old fabric salesman. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You know him. Yes. Uh, he comes down here every now and then. What a yeah. small world. Travels all up and down this road. <laughs> yes, he was, uh, yeah. He's a good man. He, he gave us his parrot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, so we have done this line of work before, and as mm -hmm. uh, my dear friend Amalthea has said, we were very successful and have been, uh, I think, quite an asset to uh, several tradesmen. Oh. Okay, well, now anyway. you go ahead and make your uh, perception check, no advantage, just straight roll. Okay. That's a 13. 13. Um, yeah, you, it's, just, it's just enough that you can barely see a figure walking uh, up the road over to where you are. Okay. You see a hint of blue. Pretty blue? It's a nice pretty blue. I'm paying attention. Okay. <laughs> and uh, as he gets closer, you notice that it is uh, the uh, proprietor of the old vineyard. Oh, it is, Yep, it is yeah. Grindel himself. He, he's kind of like wandering. A, in a, in a, he's got a weird little limp going on. And I was going to say, is he a little tipsy because he started drinking he's at He's still eight holding in the his wine glass. <laughs> Good man. He's still holding that. And it's empty, but because he's emptied it <laughs> up to this point. But he, but I, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, um, Jorgen. Jingles. I, no, no. no. Oh, sorry. He's <laughs> 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 How dare you? <laughs> My name is Jingles, you can. Jorgen Jingles. <laughs> <laughs> close, but not close enough. Um, if, if you don't mind, uh, these two up. Uh, well, there was another. Yes, they are on their way. Uh, mm -hmm. We actually several have uh, several. So, oh yeah, yes. So, so if you don't mind, um, uh, yeah, he grabs a large uh, bag of gold, gives it to Jorg, and goes, "Pay them ten of gold a day. Um, they're going to watch. I hope for the entire trip. I don't know. Um, yes, we plan on it. All right, maybe. Just trying to suggest in case they're a little drunk, I might be able to get a couple more gold out of them." <coughs> I do. Since Don Ash from the docks. Right. Yeah, I do. I like him, though. If I didn't <laughs> like him, I would scam him, but the scamming people you like is Trixie's. That's Trixie's ballpark. Damn it. So. <laughs> She's trying to convince us to go to fucking sewers. Okay. Trying to convince you to not make me go to the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Even better. But yes, and, uh, and so, so Jorgen will take the cash and goes, oh, fair enough. Uh, how many of you are there? Five? Five. Five? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I apologize Oop. if I haven't made the introduction. This is Lady Amalthea. She is uh, uh, exceptionally Shh. gifted. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. I haven't been, yeah, you're gone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There's a little tiny green uh, construct next to you as well, who is finally caught up to you. And... Oh, he was running by himself. God, you're the worst <laughs> father. You gave, him, you gave him your last name and you left him to die. It's like, don't worry. I don't have Pilot kids. Trixie and, uh, and Dodge will feed him. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 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 yes, and my apprentice. <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna roll. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Um, well, uh, just the the last the, the last uh, wagon has room there. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Uh, so as soon as uh, as soon as our compatriots get here. Uh, I feel like we'll be. I'm, I'm heading out now, so if you can go find them. Oh Jesus! <sighs> oh, I'll stay here until you come back. Don't Are you? Worry. It's yeah. okay. It's not a problem. Uh, just go get them. Okay. okay. We'll get you a nice drink. Looks like that wine glass is empty. Right. We're at the docks and we're walking over towards Dash. So, <laughs> All right, you guys yeah. go to the the the, uh, <coughs> the port there, the docks, <laughs> and you notice that the fire wind is actually not important. Not at, not at the docks. So. Going back to the island. So you see there, right there, looking. He's he's counting some gold. He's literally just dropping it. He's not really actually. He's not really counting. He's more grabbing it, letting him fall down onto the uh, <laughs> the, the tablet there. He's just that's it. I remember correctly. He was a fan of you, so I'll let Trixie lead the way. Well, Trixie's watching the gold. You're gonna want to take over. I see her drooling. And uh, Mr. Dash, sir. Hello there. Um, I have a question for you. You? Hmm. Are you aware of any homeless children who might sleep here? And and Trixie and I just go. You must think we're homeless. Holiday is not people. good with people, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. I have high charisma, but I'm yeah, totally Yeah, I know children just sleep at the docks, no, so. What, what we mean to ask is, 
Long story short, we are feeding orphans. We are a charitable organization. Oh, and we're trying charitable cause. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, you would be helping the cause by letting us know, perchance, where these orphans or urchins of the city might congregate in. Probably you could find them in the sewers. <laughs> None of them hang out here. They, they try to run for scraps every now and then. I imagine the sewer is pretty easily accessible here at the docks. Oh, indeed. He actually just like taps his foot, and um, you guys know that the, the docks are actually kind of uh, <laughs> long and, and uh, also just deep. And there are, um, right where he's at, he's currently on the wooden part, but there is a um, like a stonework that butts up right against the, the wooden planks there. And through the cracks, you, you guys can kind of see that there are grates that feed into the waters and they go back out. Are they It's they like move? it was meant to the be. The grates look <laughs> large and heavy, and, and he, he'll, he'll mention. But I would um, not recommend going through these ones. It's a lot of water. You know what? We've been gone for quite a while. I think that I should go check on Amalthea and, and Jingles. I grab her hand. <laughs> I, I would like to try and pull my hand <laughs> okay. out. Right. Apple check? Yes. Mosey. 16 natural. 15, so minus one for strength. <laughs> 15. No, no uh, you can use your acrobatics can I use to get oh, out. 17. Get out? Yeah, yeah, if you're trying to what is grab. It? 17. Grab, grabbing yeah. is it's strength, but you can you can, uh, use yeah, you can try and use a lot better of it. For me. Okay. Wait, I, I only I, have strength. I only have strength. You, yeah, to, make, to make a grapple, you have to use strength. But to get out of it, you can use both. She can use her. You can use yeah, either or for, for getting out. But yeah. Good luck. I'll make sure that they're doing okay. I hate her. I hate her so much. That was the video Christian, right? It was. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know anymore, Dash. To be honest with you, to be frank. Okay. Um, All right. Where's this uh, uh, if, location, the sewer? If you, if you want to go to uh, the sewer grate, go near the uh, south side of town. <laughs> the what now? The south, south side, side of, of, town. of the town. <laughs> <laughs> there you can find uh, probably a great near a building, an alley or something. Okay. Oh boy. Best of luck. Thank you. Give me a minute, Don Ash. I'm actually going to go over. <laughs> is there like an area that's like sort of secluded um, on the dock? Do you recall where Ada was trying to cast her suggestion? Yeah. Amongst all, yeah. This yes. is around, it's still very noisy. You can still hear the that's seagulls fine. and the sailors kind I of just, bellowing out. Uh, I'm, I'm not really like reevaluating my life. I'm, this <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wild about people watching me pray. So I'm okay. going to head over there and I'm just going to take a moment. Sure. I'm going to kneel down. Okay. And ask. Wise one, we've set up a charitable, charitable arrangement for orphans, but we can't find them. So if you could give me and my compatriot here any... You hear a whoo! <laughs> ah! <above> your head. <laughs> <laughs> and you see an owl. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don Ash, this way. Okay. So we're running after the owl. <laughs> I, I, I am just going to grab your hand. Say, yeah. I'm just going to grab your hand and go to the sewer. Natural one. I am focused on not going. Yeah. Yeah. Not to the sewer. Like no, nope, not sewers. I don't care what they're doing, but not to grab my hand. I have grabbed his down. hand and I am pulling him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she, uh, uh, Trixie's gone, but you guys are going uh, yeah. heading uh, directly yeah. south. And yeah, you guys are heading <laughs> over to the uh, an alleyway there, and there is a. As, sorry, as we're going away, mm -hmm. I scream, Thank you, Dash! <laughs> Damn you, Trixie! <laughs> as I like waver like a flag. <laughs> as she takes you me. barely hear you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, eventually you, you make your way towards the alley there. And there are there are a, a abnormal amount of crates around this area, and it's kind of like you have to dodge around them, and um, they're pretty close together. It would be easier if you were a smaller person, or a halfling, or a child. Or... <laughs> or, or Trixie. <laughs> I'm going in these fucking stores, what's happening. And I and love kids. <laughs> Gotta guys, help the children. You guys make your way through this like labyrinth of uh, crates and boxes, and you eventually uh, get near a barrel. And it's, it's got a big red painted X on it. And it's standing over a crate. Someone I once know told me that X never ever marks the spot. And then I move the X <laughs> and I go, well, they're stupid. <laughs> and I move the barrel and... The, the grate's there. I mean, it's I, not big enough for her, is it? 
Yeah, it actually is. It, oh. it, it, it's a it's about um, three feet in uh, width, um, three by three. It's just a reg regular uh, wrought iron uh, metal grate. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna move the grate. Okay, make a strength check. It's <laughs> like God damn. Ten. Ten. You go to grab it. It doesn't seem to. I help her. Much. I help her. Okay, make with the advantage this time. I'll just roll it here. No, no, no. That's it. Yeah, 15. 15. With that, you're able to... <laughs> it was just rusted shut so much as not just... Yeah. I'll yeah. look around to make sure nobody heard that. Or no one was in the make area. Okay. It was rusted shut? It came kind of rusted shut. <laughs> Hi, Lene. I don't think that anyone's been here for a while if it's rusted shut. I know, but that guard did not seem very keen on helping. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is, I'm thinking of something else now. This is hilarious. I'm just afraid that all of the guys <laughs> like Oh my <laughs> god. Just give me one reason why you, how you found this and why you believe this to be the place where we need to go. Because I asked Athena and she sent her owl. Do I hear the who? <laughs> yeah, you heard it. It's totally just some random if owl. <laughs> if you want to stay here, I'll, I'll go in and find it. Nope. We're in too deep. We might as well go oh, deeper. You're about to be. <laughs> 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 to be fair, it's this not is not the first yeah, no. and probably the last gross thing that I'll ever do. You have a paddle, right? <laughs> <laughs> not this time. <laughs> and then I just see you on the other side and then just jump. Okay. You go in and uh, there is a ladder onto the side. I jump. All right. It's, it's like good jumping into the cold pool. You don't walk on the stairs. You just go. You fall straight down, and it's a good like twenty feet below. You <laughs> land. Ah, oh, yeah. you take five points of damage. All right. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yes, right, I'll heal you when we're done. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> didn't need to add insult to injury, but I guess I did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, gonna get you. You hear him fall. You hear him get hurt. Deeper you... than expected. Use the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you okay? Uh, it smarts. It smarts, and Donish. it smells. Donish, you, you hear the echo carry on through the sewer as you're yelling up towards uh, Highland A. Is it's there anything around me that I could use as a ladder and then leave there? The ladder, there's a there's a uh, an iron ladder affixed to one of the sides oh, okay. of the grate. So you All open right, the grate, so. there's a, a ladder. Then I will go down the ladder. Okay. You guys end up going down there, and it's pitch black. The only light source is the one above you. Am I able to see? With my, you can see lights. you can see up. To, okay, uh, with the decimal, uh, you you can see up to I think sixty feet. So okay, it's but it's starting to get like even with his light, that's just barely you're able to to get that. I'm gonna look up and see if the owl is gonna follow us. Nope, no owl. Owl just. This is, <laughs> 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 just is this the part where I need you. <laughs> totally messing with you. And I, at that point, I go, where does your god tell us to move? <laughs> you look back. There's. One way, and there's the other way. Just it, it splits <laughs> off. All right. Well, it's I'm gonna I'm gonna around. kneel in the muck. Oh. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's it's dry in this area. Oh. Okay, oh. Well, I don't know if that's um, well. That's probably a little better. But okay. Yeah. Thank you for bringing us this far, Royce. When is there any way you could give me a sign now that I'm down here as to which way we should go? <laughs> Thanks, Jingles. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now he's here too. <laughs> um, you don't hear anything. You don't hear anything for a very, very long time. And there's no sound whatsoever. There is. There are a few little like. Can I tell where they're coming from? It's one way versus uh, um, more, more so than the other. Well, it seems like your god has forsaken us <laughs> in the sewers of Quintessa. <laughs> no, what did you do to piss <laughs> it off? If there was any place that a god would forsake you, it's probably <laughs> the sewers. Oh. And for the children. We do it for the children. Bad reception. So. <laughs> All right. Well, they got a coin. Can I, can I perceive which way more noise is coming it, from? Yeah. You, you, you hear it coming from one area more than the other. Okay. You, can, you can feel that. Do you hear that, Donash? I do. That way it is, then. All right, let's go. Okay, and I send the dancing lights ahead of us, and we start walking. Okay. 
as we're walking, I am looking at her like, look, I, I'm all for acts of charity, and believe me, I want these kids to be fed as well. But I did not realize what we had gotten into when we did this bargain. And I'm sorry, I told you you could stay up if you wanted to, and no, I could have done no, this on my no, own. No, 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 I'm not trying to guilt you now, I'm just saying let's let's get this done and fast. Both Agreed. of you make perception checks. Okay. No. We're underground, so the purple dice it is. Have you been able to like catch their scent? I, I figured that we would probably I'm be... Sure. So you we'll now be able to catch our well, scent. You, you now run into Trixie. Oh, okay, all right, perfect. 21. They sent me to find you guys, um, oh, because six. we were able to find the children for the entire house. You were in front, though, weren't you? Okay. They're in the... I thought we were side to side. Why are they in the sewers? Looking for children, of course. But what? Are the dwarves going to go into the sewers to feed the children? Doesn't seem likely. I didn't ask that question. They just told me to go when I left. Mm. <laughs> I'm not pleased with this. Oh, no. <laughs> How much time do we have? Had not to go? much. They are, yeah. they are going to wait for us, but I don't want to keep them waiting forever. They were already <gasps> leaving. Way. You should probably look for them in the sewers. Oh. I'll go talk to the caravan. <laughs> well, you're small, so you yeah, can fit in the sewers. You can fit in the sewers, Tracy. I think that's an yes. excellent idea. Well, thank you for volunteering. That's, that's that is a great idea. Yes, let's go over there. Yes. I don't, I don't know which sewers they went into, unfortunately. They told me to just go find Oh, don't worry. Them. I'm sure Amalthea and her wolf are able to track their scent. You can try. Okay. Make a presentation with advantage. Just, I cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can try. I'm not going <laughs> Mm. You also have your wolf too. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Um, <coughs> at the the node. Can I actually? Can I try and lead them? Not. I'm not leading them towards the docks. You're not leading them towards the docks. I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying I don't know where they went. Uh, are you They're looking for sewers. Oh I'm not gonna help you find sewers. <laughs> oh my god. But to be fair, you guys aren't at the docks anymore. No, no, no. Right? Yeah. I can no. say that they they had so, it. So okay. Um, I don't know where they are. I don't know where pick they are. Pick a spot on your map. I love everything you're doing right now. <laughs> I'm all 100% for it. I hate you a little bit. Oh, I love maybe, it. Maybe, maybe. Hold on. Right, right here. Right. Hey, we have a random. We have random. We have a random. Random direction dice. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna um, miss the actually, caravan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. Southwest. Southwest. Okay. Uh, let's see. From where you were. Can you get that back? Let me just look. Yeah. Uh, okay. Southwest. Um. All right. So the dock district yeah. was right here, and the uh, owl had kind of guided them all the way down to so this we're part. Going the complete opposite direction. You were somewhere right, right around here, going I, southwest. I, really, I think we have a much better chance if we talk to the caravan to see if we can make them stop and give oh. them five. Just try and buy a little bit more time. I think it'll take us much longer to find where they are. True. Yeah, yeah. So I don't feel right. like going in the sewers, to be honest. Uh, yeah, with you. maybe we let them uh, figure it out and. Uh, I think we'll just try and buy a little more time for them. Yes. Okay. And hope they do it also, quickly. Also, it's not like we have to take this job. True. Yeah. You know, yeah. we were gonna yeah. go anyways. That was just a stroke of luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That it was going to. Well, we do like money, so we'll try it. We do least. like money. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. We should try it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll head back over to the yes. uh, to the uh, the always, wagons. We could to always the, tell the wagons. Is that the wagons? The wagons. That okay. in their way. Exactly, yeah. yeah. They'll catch up. Who has the scrolls? Highly, yeah, the, the lights. They're only like 150 <laughs> feet, 120 yeah. feet, yeah. But, but worst case scenario is Camille pretty fast, do you think? They'll, they'll probably try and follow us. Camille might be able to, to run and... And we can eat some children on the way there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that changed her mind. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he is hungry. She is hungry. All right, cut back to you guys. You, you're in front. You have the lights out. Mm -hmm. Trying to yeah, eliminate. Six you're walking, you're walking, you're walking into the, the darkness there. Even still, it's dimly lit. And you notice a little tiny trip wire. You're about to Stop. say something, and then <laughs> she pulls it. You hear a bunch of cans and uh, metal objects <laughs> all down in the, the sewer. It echoes. <laughs> then you hear a bunch of <laughs> rustling. <in> run! <laughs> and I start to run after whatever that is. Okay. Okay. And yes. and as we're doing that, I'm yelling, "We we mean no harm! <laughs> Stop, Wade! Seriously!" Okay, make uh, another perception check. Uh, actually, uh, make an investigation, both of you. This is not going well. Twelve. Seven. Twelve. Seven. You guys both are running like, kind of like like uh, um, I would say maybe 
not so much like full sprint, but you're jogging, right? And then all of a sudden, out of your uh, uh, your frame, you see a giant net, and you you guys both get enveloped into it. the The net falls down, and you guys are now kind of like enveloped in this net. You guys stop for a while. You're restrained. This, this is net is all over. Don't help children. Yeah, and I, oh, uh, now at this point, I go, God, we just want to feed you. <laughs> You guys feel, or uh, out of your uh, visual range, you see a spear get closer, closer, and then you see there is a small child behind it. It's all right. We mean no. We mean you no harm. How can I be sure? Because you caught us. That's how you can be sure. <laughs> Obviously, you have the upper hand. Good job. You see another pole, like a staff, walk into frame. And are like a bow and arrow and a crossbow. A bunch of children are now gathering. Well, they're whispering to each other. You know, the funny thing is here, my friend and I uh, noticed one of, maybe one of your crew, trying to take an apple or a couple of bits of food from a. You immediately look back over to one of the children. Damn it, Carl! <laughs> <laughs> um, he was trying to take uh, some food from a vendor who was going to cut off his hand, and we stopped it. I'm sure someone could attest to that if they were in this tunnel right now. You, you can see a hand. Yeah, that's the very hand we saved, actually. <laughs> he moved, he moves forward closer to you guys. He gets, and he's now in front. It's true, they saved me. What do you want? To help. Oh. We've made an arrangement with one of the other food vendors. You know of the dwarves and the goblins, yes? Oh. Well, we've paid them to set aside a week's worth of food every week for you. You can hear a, like, for three a months. bunch of si- <laughs> A bunch of sighs uh, and relief uh, coming from the, the back there. And there are a little bit of wor- murmurs and whispers again just between them. But to be fair, I don't think they, they need it. They look to seem they're fending for themselves quite a bit. I'm saying this to kind of rile them up a little bit. Even you see still. the spears come back up. Yeah. yeah. Even still. They're children. I'm like winking underneath okay. this from the blindfold. <laughs> I know very well I what they are. You hear, yeah. n- now that we've seen it, it actually does move. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. And I go, so it, there's a little bit of movement in one eye. Uh, I mean, if, look, we're now the prisoners, and if they want our help, we, we're we helpless to do anything in this, in this tiny net. This is very true. We can't get back to the goblins to tell them that we found you, and now just need to figure out where to leave. One of the taller boys ends up going over to you, grabs the rope and the net, netting, starts to kind of peel it off of you. <sighs> Thank you. We are forever in your debt. When does this begin? Today. You just need to tell us where we can put a safe place to put this food aside for you and everyone else. The caveat is that this is only for three months. We are not made of money, and we tried the best we could with what we had. But we will do our best to come back and renew the arrangement. However, maybe during the time of the three months, that gives you some leeway. You should try to figure out a better means of trying to find food that won't cost limbs. We bought you some time, but the rest is up to you guys. You will not always get help, but I'm sure you know more than most. All right. Again, you hear a bunch of whispers and murmuring and low voices. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Contessa seems like a fairly wealthy city. How did you all come to live down here? Our parents got arrested and taken up north. North? For what? Not being able to pay. Pay the taxes. North where? What city? Masthead, I think. Mm. Everything is leading back to Masthead. This is interesting. very interesting. We'll actually head up that way ourselves. Maybe you could give us some descriptions and names of their parents, and we might be able to find something about them. You know, you see a, a sea of children there, like about at least 20 in your uh, peripheral. Oh, God, this is breaking my yeah. fucking heart. And they just kind of look around and. Does anyone know how to write? Not no one. I do. <laughs> do you have a bit of parchment, Don Ash? Uh, I don't think For the I sake do. of brevity, they, you, you, you have some parchment on it. Okay. Um, just small little pieces of paper. Um, 
you uh, get the names of their parents and all that. And it, it's some of it is just like surnames is all yeah, looking for. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And they give you a full names too. Some <coughs> some okay. have a, a little bit more to go off of. The younger children don't really have uh, anything. Any idea? Yeah. Can you give us like three? Or do you want us to wait for the names? No, no. Do, we'll just okay, yeah, got it, got it. Um, so we take that down. We go. I mean, all right. Well, we're headed that way, and we can do what we can to potentially find what's going on with your parents and see if we can. You asked for a spot. Yes. Um. Well, the, I assume that you came in through the south entrance. Yes. Maybe. Is there an entrance that's further? You're n- dry. You came through the south. <laughs> okay. Is there an entrance that's perhaps closer to the marketplace? There's one right in the marketplace, but it's under a kiosk right now, currently. Mm. It's hard to get in and out. Where's the easiest place for you to get food without drawing attention? That's usually where we go in and out when we want some food. It's the closest place, so... We the kiosk? Con- and yeah, but there's, a again, a gentleman there. <coughs> a mean one. You have a name? I don't know. <sighs> Look, maybe if we can talk to the... The dwarf Rodin is his name. You should probably remember that for future. Rodin. Perhaps you could meet him yourself and just get the food directly from them. They're going to be in the marketplace, and you'll have a place to quickly put in and out. The and goblin's food. name is Gorgon, and they're the ones responsible for the produce. Okay. You know what? We've done all we can at this point. We leave it to your capable hands. Obviously, you're more than capable of detaining two <laughs> warriors. <laughs> Gorgon... Rodin. Which of you is most we'll likely to speak to Rodin and Gorkin? The taller boy there. What's your name? Young Donovan. Man? Donovan. <laughs> we'll stop by their booth and let them know to look for Donovan. All right, thank you. How, like, out of character, how, like, about how old does he look? That's about maybe pushing 14. Okay. All right. Well, I feel say I feel pretty good that you know at least you guys have a system down here, so we will leave you to it. But remember, three months time, this will be done. We can see if we can help again later, but the rest is on you. We survived this this far. We'll, we'll make do. Thank you. It means a lot to us. Of course. What are your names? Donash. Donash. I'm Hyleni. Hyleni. Thank you, Donash and Hyleni. You see a little tear like well up in his eye. I need to leave before I start crying. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I come up to him and I just kneel down. And instead of going to his to move the tear, I pull out my loot and I go. You, you see the children behind him immediately get, get a little startled and they pull up their fingers. It's fine. And I play uh, a tune. And as I'm playing the tune, I go. Uh, Chilling beneath the city <laughs> in a place oh so shitty. <laughs> we'll always find help amongst both light and dark elves. And I fling the tune, and then I give Donovan inspiration, to courage to go and talk to the. the All right. Uh, I'm gonna roll that now if you don't mind. Okay. Um, you can see uh, just from this roll, you see his, his chest kind of puff out. And okay. Cheer up. You'll Thank be fine. You. Thank you. Now, where can we leave? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's. Where do you want to. Actually, exit? thank you for the question. Our party is at the stables. If there's any. Kind of route that takes us the quickest. That would be. <laughs> well, meanwhile, you guys are going to be. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, actually, there is. Uh, and he he kind of like motions with the kids to kind of part ways and follow me. Thank you. Yeah. Avoiding traps would be best, so we appreciate the guidance. We put the traps there on purpose. And it worked. <laughs> oh, and you can, he's starting to run. He knows the way pretty well, and he's, you see a bunch of crates even in the uh, sewers themselves, and you have to dodge and weave kind of with him. And you hear all the pitter-patter from the kids behind you as Donovan is leading you currently through them. And you see every now and then a broken, uh, uh, like an alcove where a bedding is, and then another little area there where um, a larger area where the, it's kind of like a, a confluence of uh, uh, the points mm-hmm. where the main 
uh, so wrote. Sad right now. Goes out to the uh, the sea there. Yeah. You can actually hear the rushing water get a little bit louder down one way. He, he keeps leading you over. You're, from where you were, you're leading more towards the northern uh, uh, area. Eventually, you do come across a, a few grates, and you can hear the city sounds again. And And uh, you guys can hear the uh, the sound carts, uh, the carts are kind of moving around, the horses and all that. Eventually, Donovan stops. And all right. Um, we typically wait for the crowd to kind of die down. <sighs> well, I don't think we have the, the luxury of time, so you go back to oh, hold on just a moment. He grabs a little stick and he has a little mirror. Kind of just a little like periscope kind of thing. Uh, now's a good time. Go. He, even with his l- lanky arms, yeah. he. Go, 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 please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and okay. And you're kind of like. You're a little fella. <laughs> and I give him a little, little punch on the shoulder and be like, you'll be fine. Thank Look you. after the rest. Thank you. We'll be back. You guys exit the uh, marketplace there. And it's actually kind of busy uh, around the area, around to your, like, your, your lower left. And then um, you realize that the stables are over to your north, uh, just about half a block away. Right. Well, we did what we can. It was very good. I think we may come back to Quintessa, and you will probably have to come with me for this, but uh, we should probably pay the Duke a visit and talk about this policy of separating children from their families when taxes are not paid. Well, that's a very good idea. Until then, let's see if we can't find these parents. Let's do it. Let's go find the rest. All right. Also, we should probably get a shower. <laughs> Jingles. So, so we start going towards. <laughs> I gotta be within thirty feet of you guys That's to true. cast that. So we start going towards the stables. The stables, right Do there. You see them? You don't see them. You see the three. Uh, uh, um, just outside, uh, about a hundred feet from where you are, you see three uh, wagons waiting for something. You see a stable boy currently inside. Is there like a cart that looks like it's carrying casks of wine? You can't see it from where you are. Got it. You physically can't see it. Is, so are the stables shoot. close to the marketplace? Not really. Oh. Um, Damn it. <laughs> we walk. We walk over, <laughs> okay. and uh, we'll be fine. No, it'll okay. be okay. At least um, not near the bazaar. Yeah. yeah, he'll know our names. So, okay. the, so I go to the stable boy, and I go, ah, stable boy. Yes. If you have a name, I would have said it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, two questions. Number one: Is there uh, possibly a, a card here that is uh, under the, the the work of a Reginald? He looks out. Something or another. Well, well. He's about to leave. About to leave? Yes, we look that over. one out there. Okay, we go, and I go, thank you very much. And I walk over to the, the cart, bring Helena with mm-hmm. us, or with me, and I, uh, I just, I go, ho, oh, ho there. Are they actually going, or? Um, no, no. Uh, oh. um, the, uh, the, the Jorgen is there. Uh, currently uh, is waiting. I don't know his name yet. Yeah, I go, whoa, um, uh, we were told to come meet here for, uh, for, a, to escort you up it's to north. A flask. Under the, uh, for Reginald. Oh, you must be part of the uh, party that was here earlier. Uh, they were oh, they were here. For you. Yeah, we Trixie Jingles, a, a jingly one. That's where we were going. You guys were heading, uh, you, the, the wolf was guiding you. But then we decided not to go to the sewer. Oh, you did not? So yeah. we're, no, no, no. we're on our way back. Okay, yeah. okay. So, uh, um. Uh, back, though, right? Because they did that whole conversation with the time you guys returned. Then you are, uh, you're really close now. Yeah, I was gonna say, okay. Yeah. Maybe they're like just about to leave or still yeah. talking. Yeah. Okay. So I go, do, do you know where they went? Where? We're looking for them to finish this job or get it started. Right there. And you see oh. all of them coming up. What was your all name? Right. Jorgen. Jorgen. Be back with you in a moment. Good to meet you. Okay. Don Ash. Don Ash. Hi, Lene. Hi, Lene. Okay. He, he now has <laughs> a piece of paper from uh, uh, Reginald. He's like, oh, that checks out. All right. All right. So we, we turn around and we, we walk up to you guys, which I assume you're all talking to each other. Okay. What took hey, you guys. so long? <laughs> oh, yes. oh no 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 no! <laughs> I am almost yeah. certain that Trixie has already filled you guys in. This prestidigitation okay. bubble, if, if I can <laughs> just yeah. constant casting around the three of us, just keep as, a, it as opposed to cleaning us, you yes. like to just. Oh no, I'm gonna let you bask in it for a little longer. That's fine. Uh-huh. You know, sometimes good deeds smell. may smell a little foul to people who are not willing to do them. You well, didn't. Be, we're doing a good yeah. deed too. We're, we're helping the caravan get. And I go, all oh, right, Trixie, I, I can't stay mad at you. And I just give you a big oh. fucking hug. <laughs> 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 I'm going to, like, try and sleep right. out after yeah. Okay, make that oh yeah, it's, it's just us two now. <laughs> God, it was the same <laughs> role. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> the same roll too. Yeah. <laughs> She's like. <laughs> I'm chasing her. I'm chasing yeah, her in okay. circles. Yeah. I'm keeping uh, her. Get back, Jorgen. Yes. 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 Jorgen, please yes. don't uh, judge the rest of us by their. Antics. As we're still playing tag, yes. you guys are like trying. Your to... antics are your own. Um, I need to get going. Let us. Uh, let us go. Uh, just know. make sure that those three stay. Actually, you didn't get touched. Hit sure those two stay downwind. <laughs> the car starts yeah. to move. Your days are not on them. Oh. It goes slow. And I go, and I go what? we're not done yet, Trixie. And I run back to the car. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you guys uh, head over yeah. to the, the, the rear cart there as you guys head in and you're moving Fun. along slowly. The days pass. It's. Okay. Eventually I will <laughs> clean them. I guess, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. at some point. Yes. Highland A. The parents were taken to Masthead. The slain guardsman was from Masthead. Do we know about the slain guardsman? Yeah, we were there for that. Okay. Also, are we privy to this conversation? Because I, I feel like you guys are all stuck in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're talking loudly yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So everyone can hear. Yeah. Okay. Um. What is it about Masthead? There has to be some. I don't know. Th 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 those are too many coincidences for me. Well, why is it a coincidence that the cards are from Masthead? It sounds like the Duke was. It had to do with the war. He was enlisting the help of Masthead. If anything, yes. The reason why it's interesting to me is because the children who were living in the sewers were separated from their parents because their parents were arrested for not paying taxes and taken to Masthead. Do we know that they were arrested or were they merely conscripted, perhaps, to. That's a good point. They only know what they know, and they know now that they are parentless. Should we make it as far north as Masthead? What, I mean, if this is something I'd like to Masthead, what are we going to do? We can't say that they can't pay their taxes. That would be utter chaos. The Duke needs help to finance the war. I don't think he can unenlist in the war. If we tell them that they don't need to pay their taxes, no one will pay their taxes, and we That's can't That's understandable, them. and I agree with you, but I do think that there's a better way to handle the situation than leaving children to live what in the well, That is a conversation to have with the, with Duke, the Duke, I believe. I mean, going to Masthead and trying to take their parents against the will wait, of wait, what the wait, Duke wait. said is well, not we good at all. Well, we weren't, we weren't going to go try to free them. Out of character real quick. <laughs> we don't know that the guard was shaking down this thief. No, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just we just know that the, the <laughs> guard was stabbed, was, was stabbed, and he yeah, was from Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Um, I thought she was being shady about it, but then she deceived me. Yeah, so, so. no one knows about Trixie. <laughs> I'm oh very God, honest. So um, I don't know. Look, it just sounds like there's a lot of influence and pull up in Masthead, and whatever sure is happening is. from there is coming here and starting to taint the city in some ways or another. Seen the ties. I don't know that Masthead is tainting the city. It sounds like the parents were sent off, but I don't think that there's anything we can do. If you have a plan, we can't take the parents. Says right? you. I'm not going to be a part of taking the. Well, That's very we clear, Trixie. You weren't even a part of finding out that the parents <laughs> even existed. So. <laughs> but I mean, what are we going to do? Say it's okay that they didn't pay their taxes and take the, them back against the will of the Duke? I think at the very least. Finding out how much they owe in taxes and finding out if there's another way they could possibly. It's better to talk to the Duke than to talk to the parents. Well, then. do you think the parents are in jail? Or what, or That's what it sounded sure. like. I would like to. There's a couple of things that need to happen. Number one, we need to go to Cephalon mm -hmm. and deliver this cart. And we also need to go. Yeah. Where is the Belish? And we need to find Belish. He currently needs to go to Galantia. We need to go to Galantia. Which is on the way before Cephalon? No, Cephalon is before Galantia. Mm -hmm. So we need to head to Cephalon, deliver this cart, hopefully find some information on the missing wizard. Then we're headed to Galantia to return this little guy. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. I think we can head back here if you want to try and find more information. The, the I say... will probably be a little bit more... I say we keep heading to Masthead. Yeah, also, I don't think there's anything to do. She's in the north and we have no idea where she is. Might be nice to help her out as well, as I have... Well, how are we going to... I, no, I do also have a what promise to fulfill as well at Masthead, and that was to, uh, if I can go back in my notes <laughs> here, uh, it was to also find Willard Cobblesmith, the shipwright, and let him know that Karween and Silk and their five children are faring quite well. I mean, we can send a messenger to do that. I don't know. Trixie, I am going to murder you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I, just feel, I, I, I just feel that you guys want to save the world. We're not going to save the world. Yes, I we think have that we to need think. to be practical in what yes. we're going to do. We can't help there. No, that's that's. We can yeah. talk to the Duke if that's your concern, but I don't think there's anything we can do in that. Step. Let's see if perhaps I can shine some light on maybe one of our many questions here. Uh, the Jer Jaron uh, Jorgen Jorgen. At the, he's, I'm assuming, at he's the, at the front. Right. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'll be right back, and I, mm -hmm. I would like to pop out and uh, see if I can go find Jorgen. Okay. Yeah, you can do so easily. It, it, the the cars are not moving that fast. You can mm -hmm. kind of do a brisk jog as you're, <laughs> yeah. Not again. And then you can grab onto the railing there and okay. push yourself <laughs> off. You could probably jump from cart to cart, you know, like James Bond. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> jump from cart to cart. <laughs> <laughs> My my dexterity is okay. Oh, better than you It's better than mustard. Um, uh, Jorgen, pleasure. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh, just a minute. Uh, he puts away his flask. Oh. <laughs> this is a fun caravan. This is, yes. Uh, I hope you're planning on uh, sharing a little bit of that later on. Picks it back up and. Oh, you, my friend, are a good man. <laughs> it's it's like whiskey. <laughs> It's like whiskey. It's not whiskey. It's, it's, not whiskey. <laughs> it's like it's like whiskey. It's horse piss. It's like whiskey. Right? I don't want to ask where it came from. It's like carob is to chocolate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my uh, my compatriots and I were uh, were uh, we're like I said uh, we're relatively fresh back in the area, and it seems like uh, there there's been a lot of change over the past uh, you know several weeks, maybe months. Um, All right. The duke and his taxes and this newfound conflict. His taxes. Ah. <laughs> Not his taxes. No, the, the taxes come from the king himself. And uh, would I know it? In masthead. In masthead. Okay. Yes, all right. Double <laughs> checking. Okay. All right. So, uh, the king himself is demanding these taxes. I, I'm assuming for his own conflict. Then. There was talks of war. There was talks of conflict over to the east. To the east. The uh, families here. I've I've seen several families that have been a little hard on their luck. Um, a lot more than you think. Actually. Pray tell, what happens if those families can't afford to pay the taxes? I, I certainly know that uh, people of all walks of life are unfortunately caught up in this, and I'm sure that the, the wealthy are doing all right, but what about the ones who are not so well? well? Typically the Shire Reeve, or the Sheriff, will uh, attempt to take it forcibly from them. Uh, if they owe a property, they close down the property, the business, etc. Uh, if they cause any trouble, they sometimes are arrested and uh, taken to hmm. the proper, I don't know where exactly, but most likely masthead, to see the, uh, the trial there uh, for a attack on the card. The king's guard is attacking on the king himself, at least that's the way that he sees it, so... Interesting. So, uh, I guess that answers at least some of uh, some of our questions. Mm. Um, the the system right now. Do you uh, do you know if that's something that the the Duke is looking to? Is he supportive of this conflict? Is he I don't think so. No, uh, he, I mean, I don't know much about the Duke to be honest. Uh, uh, what about your employer? He he would talk to him frequently. Uh, he knows him quite well, in fact, uh, both he and the Viscount. Mm. I hear that guy's gone nuts. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not the, the first time I've heard that today. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. Off his rocker, I think. Um, but sorry, this week, sorry. anyway. Mm. Yes. Uh, and your your employer, uh, mm. He how does he feel about this whole situation? Does it uh, affect well, it, his it, business? It does. It does affect it. Luckily, there are a uh, higher clientele that go in there and pay their rightful... Uh, share so he's able to hold out for the storm for a little bit um, unfortunately it's just it's gonna tax him eventually uh, I don't know what he's going to do I'm luckily still employed yes um, as I'm taking you all here up north keep doing your fine job there sir and uh, I'm sure that you will not have to worry about finding new employment so thank you for the uh, I'll you another swig of the I'll take it. all right <laughs> he slaps and takes it back and takes a swig himself, caps it and puts it down. Got a high tolerance there. Been out here for a long time, yeah. Oh yeah. Pass the time, really. I'm sure we can find other ways to pass the time. 
got a very fun band behind us. But uh, <laughs> for now, uh, let me get back to them, and uh, I okay. appreciate the time. We can put up the check at this moment. Not so bad. I, or not so good, sorry. No, that's, I thought that was, a, that was a 15 for a second, but no, it's a five. So six, five. six okay. total. Six total. You don't uh, uh, notice anything out of the, the ordinary. As you hop on down, you're walking back. You hear uh, Jorgen say, oh, I'm just, as you're walking back. Was there anybody else up there with him? No. Uh, can I just listen for a couple more seconds and see if he's just like carrying on a conversation. You, you listen and you you notice that the, the the carts are actually kind of slowing down a little bit. Like they're still going, uh-huh. but at a slower pace now. You hear a ch- 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 Do we notice that we're slowing down? Yeah, you guys can, can sort of feel that the carts kind of so like midst of our like our like our heat discussion. Yeah, it's starting to slow down a little bit more. I'm gonna grab okay. onto my shield and just kind of. Yeah. Stand up as much as I can to see okay. what's going on. Uh, the rest on. of you make a perception check, those of you that are, except for you, Don, because it's too far away. So as, as they're doing their perception checks, I go, uh, wow, there's something's God. about to happen, oh, or Jingle just offended the shit <laughs> out, of, <laughs> out of our courier, or escort. Yeah. Six, eight, twelve. Uh, Jorgen? Y- yes? Everything all right? I, I just noticed, he, uh... He peers out over to you, and, uh, do you not see that? And he points out to the front, far, far ahead. You see through... There, there's a, it's a forested area that you're currently in. You're currently making your way north, and there is a smoke line out of the trees there, and it it goes up, up about maybe 20 feet from the the tree line, and then it, it wafts out. The wind huh. is now carrying it. It's carrying towards the other east. Interesting. Does it look like a big fire? It's a dark, thick black smoke. It's not. Doesn't look like it's massive. Okay. At least not yet. Okay. All right. Do we? Does anyone else in the caravan see this? Uh, no, no one rolled by. No. <laughs> you guys are, are looking. You see Jingles, kind of uh, up, about to head back and then stop and then face forward. So I whistle and go, and go, Jingles, what's happening? Uh, just a little smoke on the horizon up ahead. I, I don't think uh, anything too too pressing, but uh, let's see if I can. It's a dark words, Jingle. <laughs> Why are we slowing down? You know Jingles? what they say about smoke. What is? What do they say about smoke? There's smoke, there's fire. Oh god. <laughs> I'll look through my kaleidoscope. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, that <laughs> one eye open. One eye, yes, I'm Go ahead and make I'm your perception check. <laughs> okay, alright. Damn. <laughs> need to... It's like this is only a kaleidoscope or something. <laughs> I, need to, I, need to, yeah, I need to get like a new add on. It's only a it seven. It looks pretty. Instead. Yeah, it looks it? really yeah. pretty. Just it's like the triangles. smoke's like curling. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, 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 there's no actual. Uh, you can't see the, the, the flame at all. It's just the, the light from the, uh, the star. The center of the. Uh, are we headed for it? Are we headed for it, or are we it headed? Looks like you it? guys are okay. heading near it. Yeah, I mean, down the road. It's again obscured by trees. The road kind of winds a little mm-hmm. bit, and the trees kind of part the uh, your vision, so you can only see the smoke mm-hmm. coming out the top. So, right. like, we won't go through this place. We would potentially pass it. Pass there's it a chance a route it, to it. It winds a it little probably, bit. So. It, yeah, there's a chance that it would wind yeah. towards it. Okay. Well. I think we're heading in the general direction, but... Uh, How far away does it look? How long do we intercept um, it? Yes, you're, look, you're looking at the uh, the smoke there. It's yeah. probably about maybe 120 feet. Okay, I'm going to oh, so hop out close. of the caravan and try and sneak around behind the trees. Okay. Um, the uh, your, your, uh, Jorgen will actually st- um, kind of stop the car down. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Not sure, but usually... Usually, uh, you know, fires like these on paths are not uh, started on their own. So, if you uh, wouldn't mind, just maybe we'll scout it ahead. Yeah, stay, stay uh, right. here. You can see him pull out a little dagger, just kind of like jam it into the uh, the sideboard there. Good man, and keep your eyes peeled. We'll do. Um, should I stay with him? I just I case? definitely don't think we should all go. I think okay. if we. I'll stay. I'll stay yeah. here and. Just in case anything happens. Who yes. has the other scroll? Uh, just curious. It was the. Well, that you have it, right? I have Both? one. Yeah, I have no, one. No, I have the other one. Okay, oh, that's perfect. perfect. Okay, okay. So, right. just curious. Yeah. Just wanted so, to remind you. Um, yeah. Well, I'm out there. Mm-hmm. I say this just kind of to you, and so you're next to me. You don't hear this. Um, I go, well, oh, Trixie's gone. Maybe you and Camille can also round the other way where she's going and see if we can flank whatever this, this smoke is coming from. I think that's a good idea. All right. Mm-hmm. Hi, Lenny. Are you staying here? Mm hmm. I'll head up the middle. 
Roger okay. that. And then uh, I look at Jingles. I go, Jingles, Highland A staying behind. We'll head forward. Are you going to stay with the caravan or are you coming with us? Hmm. Highland A staying here? That's what you, you want to right? Yeah. Oh, can all three of you guys, I know Trixie's already long gone. Yeah. Can you guys see in the dark? I can. Okay, so you can. Yeah, I can. can you're, can you're blind. Um, so <laughs> I mean, I'd be pretty yeah. useful in dark, considering I don't need sight. So exactly. Get a so disadvantage. I think in that case, I'm going to let you guys go out there, and I'm going to see. Can I climb on top of the caravan? Sure. Um, Do we want to give so one of, one of them the, scroll? the other scroll? I, that's I was okay. kind of thinking. So. So I'll go ahead and Malpi. I'll give you. Perfect. Okay. The, the other scroll. Okay. The um, the wagon in the front has a huge barrel. The other ones have smaller little barrels and casks and whatnot, but the one in the front has this huge barrel that actually has a, a, a false, um, like, a wagon top dome made out of wood, and you can climb that for sure. The other Excellent. ones are, are canvas type material. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, I will definitely climb that one. Um, What's your plan, Jingles? If you guys find anything, if you find anything uh, bad, I want you to type an angry face. If you find something that's happy, do a happy face. And if it's nothing that we need to be concerned about, just an X. Donash, are you capable of doing the thing Ada did where you play and are able to transmit messages? I, I'm not entirely sure. I could potentially try, but... God, Ada just did everything, she? Didn't needed, she? Mm -hmm. she She seemed to need a copper wire. And then I look at my loot. These aren't made of... These aren't wound with copper, are they? No. I meant to do that before we left. I was going to get one. Plays the bass string. Anyways. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. Oh, later. <laughs> Jingles, run that by me again. What do we put for what? If it's a, just because I know you won't have time to write out a whole message sometimes. Mm -hmm. Angry um, face for enemies, smiley so face for good things, exactly. X for no concern. Exactly. Got okay. it. And if you have time to write anything else, I think we're limited to 25 words or something like that. Yeah. Well, but we need I will to go because I think Trixie's you far guys, gone. Yes, you guys. Go. So you made a perception check already with that. Oh, I thought that was stealth. Oh, no, stealth. you did. You, sorry, go make a okay. perception check now. Now we're, we're okay. running uh, in our if direction. If you want to go ahead and make a perception check, go ahead and do so with Unnet advantage. Or modified 20. With advantage? Because also it's forced area and also you're woke anyway. Modified 20. Modified 20. Nice. Do it again, do it again, just in case. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so. 24. You eventually make your way forward towards a wagon that is caught on fire. <gasps> Yikes. Eventually, you catch up to around that area. You see the wagon is. Oh. You notice that it is a wagon from Masthead. You see the the bindings. There are actually metal bindings on this wagon. It looks like it was supposed to be some kind of like an armored transport mm -hmm. to carry uh, gold. And you recognize this very very well. I mean, you come up eventually, stealth up, mm -hmm. and you see actually you can see her off the uh, the distance there. You guys can like catch your eyes, and you see that the wagon is. Next to it is a shadowed figure. Pulls up his cloak, gets up, looks around, and begins to just run off in kind of in your direction, actually, and just. I would like to make Catch sure him. that he doesn't see me and then follow him. Okay, make oh uh, yeah, make another stealth check. And do you, are you gonna follow him as well? That's a good. Well, idea. Okay, make a stealth check uh, for you and Camille. Four. And I'm coming up straight. Do I see any of this? You um. Do I see you guys, uh, you see, because you were behind more, they were kind of like flanking ahead yeah. and you were kind of walking forward, you just see the very, very tail end of Amalthea and her wolf go run off into the other side of the forest. You guys are not heading over Do to I the Do I notice that she's moving with purpose? Okay. So I, I pull out my loot and I just whisper her name and then play in her direction for bardic inspiration. Okay. Amalthea, you now have bardic inspiration, a d6 to be used. I and have 14 on stealth, and Camille has 18. 18. Wolfie is <laughs> one with the, the elements. Actually, uh, she's keeping up with you. You can, see, you can kind of hear a little as you're running through. Um, you guys, uh, he's kind of, the, this, this gentleman, or this figure anyway, is moving through the trees. You're not entirely sure um, how, where he's going, mm, how fast he's I'm going, but he's... Are you guys going to eventually catch up to him or no. just keep up? Okay. Keep up. I'm I mean, gonna I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to lasso him. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, roll for attack then. Um, you guys are now just barely behind him, and he starts to kind of like notice that someone's behind him. 
Go ahead and make your attack roll. What do I? Oh, shit. What do I add? Proficiency. Oh wait. I don't yeah. Know. Your, 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 attack bonus. Oh just like, no, because um, just your your just your, your, your dexterity. Uh, because she is proficient in un in uh, weapons. weapons. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she is. Oh, because she's because a, the, yeah, she's a tower she's a tower brawler. Tower brawler now. Oh, yep. that feat is a wonderful feat. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, it's okay. got a six. Yep. So that'll be 15. 15, that, that does hit. Excellent. <laughs> and he just falls down. You hear a bunch of gold go oh. down on the, the fourth floor. You hear it. <laughs> yeah, you hear it yeah. for Don't sure. Touch. And I caught up with them? I'm still I, hidden. Okay. You're about like a turn behind. So okay. everyone roll initiative, those that are. Everyone roll, roll initiative. Why not? Natural 20. Oh my God. Yeah, I got a natural 22. Well, no, Damn. okay, never mind. Right. Is the day. I got a natural 10. I have my negative one initiative. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so twenty up, twenty three. You have nineteen. Uh, so fifteen up. Okay. Ten up. Twelve. 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 You, I have higher decks. You go first. Yeah. yeah. Donash. Jingles. Uh, five up. Nine. Nine. All right. <laughs> she already threw the last, so she's good. Yeah, yeah. she's got him. <laughs> okay. Trixie, you're up. So he's caught? He's caught, essentially. <laughs> well, it's time to him, yeah? <laughs> right. Um, I am going to stay hidden, but um, stay prepared to okay. try and help. Make a, current, make a, another stealth roll just for this moment. Natural one. <laughs> Okay. It's I mean, it's gold. still an eight. It's the goal. That's like a you natural know. one. And, and you're, you think you're like you stopped, and he looks at you, <laughs> but he looks down now at the lasso that is now leading over towards another person. He's going to try to attempt to make a uh, go ahead and make a stealth roll. Anyway. Stealth. Mm-hmm. Just for you. Huh. Twenty-one. Okay. He doesn't notice you. He notices the wolf, uh, <laughs> and he's lo- looking back over towards you and the wolf. I'm not here, so. Highland A, you're technically next, but you're back in the way. Like, yeah, we're we're keeping our eyes peeled I'm, yeah, around. So yeah. we're I'm just kind of like like looking out into the forest around the caravan. Yeah, you don't see anything currently when you're Do I hear anything? Nothing. Yeah. No. Okay. It's well, pretty, where they're currently at, it's pretty far. I've away. got my shield and my mace just in case. Okay. It is uh Donna's turn. You um, caught him. It what's the daylight look? Is it pretty it's it starting to get like dusk. So would if I sent up a, a coalesced ball of my dancing lights straight into the air, would that do anything? How far up? How what's your range on that? My range of dancing lights. Sixty feet, I believe. No, it's one hundred twenty. Pretty sure. I think as long. Yeah, okay, yeah. Just make sure with the coalesced thing. I think the things. Maybe it's the things have to stay within sixty feet of each other. But yeah, just double check because I can't remember. I don't have. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Right, the second. I got it. I think. I mean, just. Go I'm ahead pretty and... sure. I'm pretty sure it's it's either 120 or 60. So just make the call. Um, tell me. Sure. Let's make it uh, 120. Okay. So I, I send those up, your... expecting them to be able to see it. Okay. Send them up and then do like a kind of. Make a perception check. And I make it like kind of so really jingles. crazy and very noticeable. You make with advantage. You're on top. Twelve. Twelve. Uh-huh. That's kind of what I like. Is the drow ability correct? Eighteen. Mm-hmm. Eighteen. 18. Uh, you do see a glow. Um, it's kind of hard to really tell what it is, because the lights don't actually uh, pierce the, the, the top of the trees there, but you do see a glow. Okay. It's, it's a familiar glow, too. Okay. All right, I think that's them. I'm going to look at the uh, paper. Look okay. at the parchment. The parchment doesn't show anything. Nothing on it yet? Okay, I'm going to give it one more. Uh, I'm going to give it one more round then, but I'm going to... So hold on. She's got the other side. No, I nope. gave it to him. Yeah, I gave it to him. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna probably, you know, kind of look at Highland A and say, okay. Well, after Jingle's turn, it is Amalthea's turn. Well, that was just my bonus section. The dancing lights. Oh, right. <laughs> <bonus section. laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, we have yeah, it down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and so, so dancing lights also 120 foot range. You can move it 60 feet in a round, uh, but they have to be within 20 feet of each other. So if you coalesce it, it's fine, but it can only move 60 feet at a time. So. So it's there we go. He said 120 feet ring, so. Alright, so uh so as that's happening, I am now 
I catch up with my movement, hopefully, okay. to them. There's a man on the ground with a lasso uh, around his uh, feet. And I don't see anything but the wolf and a rope that's leading weirdly into the... <laughs> Does, do I see Trixie? Is she... Yeah, she, she's out there in the open. She stepped on a branch and she's kind of stationary, but <laughs> she knows that you're there. Her eyes are big dollar where is, signs. Where is, where is she looking at? At, at the, the, the guy. She's like no, this. No. Thing. She's, <laughs> she's actually no. She's looking at the gold. Yeah. Exactly. Right. And I go, Trixie, snap out of it. And I walk up to this guy. He's pulling out a knife. He's trying to get his. Uh, and I take the and I take the uh, my quarter staff off and I just smack okay. smack the uh, the knife out of the out of his hand. Make a tackle. That's a natural fifteen. Okay. Uh, you, you do hit. You roll damage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> your quarter staff. Yeah. It's a D8, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, it is. I'm using two hands. I said that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a nine. Nine points of damage. Mm-hmm. You overextend and you smack this entire guy's hand and arm and chest and cut. <laughs> he just falls unconscious. Oh. The knife goes. <laughs> what? He's 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 detained. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, but he's unconscious. I well, but we, we, we take, take him with us. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you, you want to take a villain, possibly someone who lit wagons on fire when we have wagons with us? And I take the rest of the rope that is leading towards you, and I just start to wind it around him, and I go, he may know what the hell happened to that cart. Okay. And I, Camille is looking down and sniffing the ground. You now notice that there are footprints that kind of lead over in that direction more than uh, the, the current ones that he had, the ones that he made. Alright, you guys, so it looks like there's more of them. Should we... I don't think necessarily that we should like go after them. Uh, we don't know how many there are. Right? Yeah. Exactly. We, we just heard and it. Mm-hmm. You? And we don't know for sure that these people are, like, enemies. Yeah. We don't know what he's exactly done. why I... Just to detain this man. Here's the thing: right. you could probably no, just question just, this this guy. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do, but now he's unconscious. We can just let's pour some water around. I was gonna, uh, yeah, I was gonna say like we have a whole yeah. cask of wine back there. We're just right. throwing his face. Yeah, I'm sure the sting will make people water. unconscious, not the other way. Around. <laughs> <laughs> not saying pour it down his gullet, just like throw it in his face. Hey, uh, it's not our wine. Yeah. yeah, let's throw some water on it. We have water. Are we, are we still <laughs> uh, an initiative, by the way. Or? Yeah, we're still initiative. Oh, so you're not here, Island A. <laughs> A voice of conscience like coming on. <laughs> okay, out. okay, you guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Um, is it you want to do it? Let's, uh, let's. Yeah. As decide a, together. Should we take him back in question, or I could, I have some water. I can just pop, pop it on him and see if he wakes up. And I or think it's about. Take him back I say this time you feel a little. <laughs> oh, I was gonna so say. I, was just about to say. I <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who were. Uh, and it's a young early in the, in the early 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> it's a big, true, it's a big, movies. very like elaborately drawn question mark with like a couple little sparkle things. <laughs> <on about it. laughs> An obvious jingles drawing. Very phallic looking <laughs> question mark. <laughs> how many? How many letters do I have? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Words, I think. Twenty-five, yeah. 25, 25 words. I think. Twenty-five yeah. words. Yeah. Uh, this one. Yeah. This one's yeah, high. Yeah, yeah, creation. Just. Just yeah, right. Right, but is that my going to be my action since we're still in a initiative? Yes, it does take a, a so full action to write and we should and decide together to what we're going to do about this man. Well, let's just take him back. There's no reason to just take him back. Hold him here. Yeah. Right, let's just take him back. You guys do that. I'm going to go check my the eyes card to see if there's any survivors of this attack. Right. I'm going <laughs> to lag behind. Just be careful, Donna. No worries. I'm going to take some of this as collateral. I just palm up, scoop up some gold. <laughs> okay. I'll so, see. You can probably get like 20 gold. Great. I'll put this man on my shoulder. And All right. I guess we'll walk, walk back. How much I'll gold was the there? Gold. All right. So there, you take 20, you have 130. God, nice. Wow. Jeez. It's moly. <laughs> <laughs> this, so now, um, after you, you made your investigation check of the wagon, you know that this wagon was indeed collecting taxes. taxes. And, um, Wait, are you guys coming with me or are you going back to the thing? Uh, I mean, because I think I'm going to the cart alone. The cart was on its good, good. way, right? Yeah, we went it was past right next the cart the or the, 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 burnt, the, the burnt, burnt one. Okay, go back. You head over there. Are you guys coming with me? Well, it's supposed to be sounding like I'm going to be right now. But um, yeah, go ahead and make your uh, investigation check okay. on the wagon. We went past the wagon to catch up with the dudes. Natural 17 plus okay. 2. Okay. 19. You take a look at you study it. 
and the flames are still kind of licking it, but uh, um, you notice that, again, the, the, the iron bindings on this entire thing, most of the, the top wood is burnt off, but this was a sturdy wagon at some point. Um, the wheels even have like the Ben Hur kind of style uh, oh, spokes uh, sticking uh, out. Um, there are no sign of the horses. There are no sign of the uh, people that um, were on uh, and, and holding the reins here. And nothing. Although, it's like basically just like completely, just not taken. not completely. So there seems to be a few burnt uh, chests. One of which was is now opened, and you can tell that this this guy here was taken from that. And you see that. Mm-hmm. I don't even think so. I take I take out. Uh, I think this guy came after. Would a would a water skin half a water skin put out this fire? <laughs> no. <laughs> the water, well, on this one chest. Well, the, the chest is kind of it's smoking. It's got like the embers, like the like the if you were to blow on it, you would fan up. But they're off right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm going to. You drink have, like, shot. Bands on fine. the side. <laughs> what? Does that bands on the side like pick up? Um. Like, yeah. One of them is, is actually almost broken off, so you can hold on to one side, the, the other side's kind of, it's actually kind of hot too, it's still from... Okay, but like, I, but can I grab? You can grab onto one side, yes. Okay. Will it burn the crap out of me? I'm just mm-hmm. gonna no. touch it, okay great. So I grab that side, and then I take it with me and drag it back, okay. and I hit It's actually towards. kind of, it's not that big, it's a small... Uh, oh, okay. Well, I... Like this. You can even take it, yeah. <laughs> is, there, is there more in there? The, the, uh, there does appear to be more, they're open as well, they're all burnt. Yours is still currently burnt, it's actually off the hinge sure, sure, somewhat. Sure. But the so others are full too. They're burnt. So you, you cannot tell they're they're, yeah, they're currently yeah, yeah, yeah. in uh, full flame right now. Uh okay. Um I head I head back to I catch up with them. Okay. Um find? before I get These are there. all back at the regular wagon. Yeah. Right, before I get there gonna ask. I take how, how just kind of just the estimation how much gold is in this thing. The current one that you brought with yeah, you, it's yeah. empty. The guy emptied it. Oh, I wouldn't take it if it was empty. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, like, like, take it for evidence. No, is it okay? So none of the other ones I can touch. No, but but uh, as you kind of like you do drag it, you do see uh, like a, a thick uh, envelope kind of fall down. Oh. Okay, well I pick that up and start to read it. You <laughs> start. To I can't. <laughs> we've we've proven okay. this. Yeah. It takes you a, a while, but you like. Yeah. <laughs> you go through the the various copious notes, and, and the, you notice that they are uh, ledgers of some kind that the the Shire Reeve has collected taxes on a uh, city, or sorry, a small town known as New River. And uh, there actually is a map leading towards New River, and you see that he's got it crossed out and check marked okay. and all that. I, I pocket that. How long has he gone for, by the way? Because if he's gone for more than five minutes, I think I would at least go look. I would say about two. Yeah, minutes. I would imagine like. The conversation okay. of the chest, I would have been like, oh, oh it's empty. I wasn't and like, sure you said it takes a long time to read. Oh, oh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So I would say, like, he's pushing about two, two and a half minutes right now. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I palm that and I leave the empty burnt chest because I don't need that. And I start walking back towards uh, <laughs> towards you guys, which I assume you're headed towards the, the caravan? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I catch up with you guys. Um, I go, okay. I, I went ahead and looked at the cart. Looks like there probably uh, is still the king's taxes. In there, it's burning right now, so we might need to fix that problem. Yeah, are they still there? I could not tell; they were on fire. Okay, well that'll probably tell us if it was a bandit or if it was an accident. Oh, you're talking about the people. There, no, there's the no money. sense. I mean, oh. if there's money left, right. it was a bandit. They're not going to leave the, you know, torch the wagon and leave the money. Well, but the guy that we just saw was trying to take as much as he possibly could, and then right, run, but so if we just copy that. Right, I don't think that they're very good bandits, or there weren't multiple. And if they, I would agree they're not very good bandits. We have one right now. We don't know if he's a bandit or not. <laughs> Well, you guys, they're, they're all over by the main wagon now. You guys are oh, they're in the back, back, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and Jorgen is also listening on too, because he wants right. to know what's so, going on as what well. What kind of a wagon was it? Very heavy iron bands. It looked like it was an armed vehicle. Well, it could do some damage and take some damage. And now whatever, it's on fire. Whatever made it on fire certainly has the firepower to do some serious damage to our situation right here. It could have also been an accident if the money right. was still all left. Trixie, this is not an accident. This was well, a planned if attack. if there's gold left, then it wasn't bandits trying to take the money, or they would have taken the money. So I think that that's where we need to start. Speaking of, uh, we have one of them here. I'm sure you can see tied up. We caught him in the act of taking as much gold as he no, could. That didn't. was a- what are you guys talking anything. about? He was literally taking gold out no, of the chest that I picked up. Did we see him take gold out of the chest? He dropped a hundred 
150 gold when you caught him. What do you mean did we catch? Do you know how much? You don't know exactly how much there was. He might have you don't know. I mean, there was a good pile of gold, but you didn't. No one actually saw him take any. That's how. Yeah. I so. have money on me. I have a good coat. And also, he might have been like hmm. the person driving the wagon. All right. So I take no. that water skin out as she's talking to me, and I just splash on this dude's face. Okay. okay. Thank you. Make a medicine check because he's you brought him to zero. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, you, you smacked him for nine damage. Uh, I think there's a good chance that he is either ten. like a scavenger or something That's like that. But exactly I don't. What you I, do. He so doesn't strike me as the type. Well, let's find out. He's about to wake up. Yeah, we'll wake up. Okay, so <sighs> I pick him up and I go, "What happened?" Ah, oh, uh, what? Who are you? Dinosaur. And I go, "Look at me. Yeah. What happened?" What, do you mean, what happened? What? You were at a burned caravan, taking gold. You can kind of see like realization come to his eyes. And... Uh, yeah. Five seconds. What were you doing there? Four. He looks down uh, towards his uh, pouch, which is actually now missing. Mm-hmm. I focus up. Mm. Tell me what happened. He's gonna call your bluff and go. Or what? I would like to. And I, with one hand. I don't just ball a fist, and I go, "Tell me what happened, or I will break the rest of your face." I'm gonna, st- I'm gonna walk and up I'll and I'm gonna ask, and can I do an intimidation check? Why are okay. you guys defending this dude? No, he's, because she's I'm doing intimidation. Oh, oh, yes. I'm gonna say, I'm threaten to set him on fire. I have no problem with that. Roll for attack. No, I didn't. I wasn't gonna actually attack him. Oh, just intimidation. Okay, so you roll for intimidation. Hey. With, uh, he saved a child. Uh, twelve. He was still. <laughs> he just. <laughs> and I just backhand across the face. Okay, yeah, make an attack there. He's, he's, you see, he's, a, he's missing a few teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a natural fifteen. Roll damage, cause you. See, you come on, man. You can. You can, you can I choose. pull my punch. You can. Yeah, you can choose to pull your punch. I pull my punch. It's just. It's a. It's merely oh. for sound effect. He's bleeding One now. Point left though, right? Can I try another intimidation? Stop. Why are you so? You don't know. I'm, this dude. Guys, I am not nice smacking this dude into unconsciousness. <laughs> he, he, he I could easily demonstrate a smack, and I promise you guys, you will not be a fall unconscious. You can tell me. Is he unconscious? No, no, what you're I'm one saying, one you're you got one hit point. Yeah, you, you, you smacked him. Uh, uh, you said you pulled your punch. I'm going to allow that he's still alive, but know that that would have okay, brought him sure, back sure, down sure. to zero. So let he's the dungeon master do his stuff. <laughs> Why are you being so aggressive with this poor man? I need to know what he knows. You don't need... He rounds his back. back. He's uh, focusing back on you now. His eye is now puffy. What? happened. I will not ask again. He spits blood on your face. Right, I'm going to stand in between right. you guys. I'm going to be like, Don Ash, calm down. You don't know who this person is, what he's done or what he's not done, so stop smacking the... Do you want some of this on your face? Well, you kind of deserve it. And I pick him up again and I go... No, because I'm in between you guys. Oh, you right. Go so you're... Me. Can I try to push you out of the way? You can try. Yeah, you can try. <laughs> I was gonna say that's a that's another uh, roll against. You know what? You know what? Before I do that, I go. What do you suggest we do with this man? I suggest we talk to him calmly. What are we doing? And I just like You're I back away. I back face. away and I walk away. He falls yeah. down. Just <laughs> he, he only stand or sits up. All right. He leans against one of the uh, the, the wagons there. Well, hey, Find out what I he can knows. Go back to the wagon. The burnt the wagon. wagon. Okay. Um, you. You don't notice her step away, but you just kind of... Okay. Say, sorry about that, dude. He can be a little uh, hasty. Where are you guys from? Oh, um, we're just traveling. We're traveling. He looks back at the wagons. There's a little broken smile. So what were you doing? That's true. <laughs> this seems to be going well. Our business is well, to is, protect right. these wagons, what, and I'm just these just wagons, for a second. Not yes. the tax wagon. Right? And we want to make sure that what mm. happened to that wagon is not going to happen to these wagons. Right. And because you seem to be the person in the know about this mm-hmm. particular situation, we wanted to give you the opportunity to explain to us exactly what it is that you were, that these 
fine ladies were looking, this fine lady uh, was looking at. We are so intimidating, well, by the way. We're not trying to be <laughs> make, intimidating. Make, uh, make, sure, make an intimidation check here, or okay. make a persuasion check, whichever okay. one you prefer. I'll do persuasion, because I'm trying the, I'm trying the, the soft yeah. hand. Damn it, Muggsy! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's just keep going. We'll just stick him in the cot with us. He'll be our hostage. Are and then if we get attacked, are you sure it's okay to? What if there are others? They're all well, exactly. others. Exactly. We have a hostage now. They not gonna kill They left him for dead. <laughs> they left him for dead. We caught him and they didn't turn around. <laughs> The fact that you guys think that this person isn't abandoned, someone who we found looting a flaming uh, caravan, <laughs> who king's ran away, carriage. dropped... Yeah. I don't what? think the, the king's, king's carriage. <laughs> Whose carriage is it? Uh, the king's carriage? <laughs> what? <laughs> can, I do, can I try another intimidation check? Sure. Different dice. That was a good hit. 17. You, you did this? Alone. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe like, that. You There's no way. Uh, There's well, no. Yeah. So I got a 17 for intimidation. Yeah, he he avoids you. He sees you looming over. Well, I'm going to just slam my shield, the point of my shield, into the ground. <laughs> I'm going to take my mace and do the same thing. What was your business in the forest? It was not just my business. And there are others? How many? I didn't. Count from Give New me River. An estimate. From New River. If you know. Fifteen or so. <laughs> what is New River? I don't know where New River is. I can shed light on that, and I pull out the map. He Found this with the card, out. and I throw it to Jingles. Let the man speak. Where are they heading now? The bandits are the wagon. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I look at it, so you are a band, you are with a band of bandits. I was. I'm gonna now walk away. Be like, you guys can now deal with this fine friend that you've made. And I just walk away. So he's fine friend. Blood. I just kind of just bleeding from his upper lip there. Normally I would have more empathy, but I don't believe he should be coming with us. Well, I have leave me here. <laughs> Kill him. Oh, they'll kill me anyway. Spare him! <laughs> Sounds like the problem fixed itself. You. He'll find you. He'll Perhaps find me. Find and I walk up to him and I lean down into his face and I grab him again and I go, Is that a threat? No threat. <laughs> That's Who's nice. he? Didn't you walk away to leave us with our fine friend, Domash? After before he mm -hmm. threatened me. Who's he? He begins to kind of just fade in and out of consciousness. I'm gonna flick him in the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? I healing word him. Okay. Two points. <laughs> Wake up. He's, he, he, sounds, he looks yeah. a little annoyed. <laughs> <sighs> Who is he? Answer the woman. You'll find out. Well, this is useless. What? You Where's look at Trixie? the papers in front of you, and they talk about a tax ledger uh, in a city, a town, sorry, a small village uh, to the east. And here you see, notice a map, and there is a crossroad heading over to the east where a, a town called New River is. Mm -hmm. And that's where the ledger seems to have collected a few of these taxes. Mm -hmm. Now, when he spoke, I thought that I heard him mention the, the phrase the boys from New River or something along those lines. So, would it be safe to say that uh, there is a chance that this group of bandits is, in fact, from New River? Potentially. Well, I believe that on perhaps another night, we can relay this information, this information to somebody else. As of right now, our job is to protect this caravan, and mm -hmm. I do not believe that any of his friends are going to be coming from, you know, New River at this point. Seems like they've cleared off. I don't believe they'll be coming for our caravan tonight. I, I think we can't should. can't be sure about that. We can't be sure, 
but the longer we wait around here, the closer they are likely going to get to coming for us. You're going to want to tell Trixie that, because she doesn't seem to be here right now. Trixie? God Trixie. damn it! <laughs> in the meantime, there's some sturdy trees in the area. I say we tie him to one of them and leave him here. Yeah, target practice. I vote we take him with us. Not before we find out who and what did that to the caravan. Yeah, Trixie, go ahead and make an investigation against you now. Um, Seven. Do you have a coin left? Nope. Wait, do you? Yeah, but I really want to save it for a particularly okay. perfect moment. All right. Seven total? Seven total. You take a look inside the, the, the wagon there. All the chests are have been broken open somewhat. They are burnt. All the gold is taken. Everything has come everything out. Is okay. taken. There are, in fact, there aren't even any burnt bodies. Okay, they are already all broken, though, mm-hmm. which they were not before, not that I know that, but... Mm, I, I mean, you can gather that they were uh, broken at some point and then burnt, and then the whole... Uh, okay. Well, I told you there was still potentially gold there, so you know that. Okay, yeah, so so it seems like someone has come in between... No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. So there was never gold. You didn't. You didn't do make a, uh, a good perception check, but uh, or a perception check. <laughs> I but see. Okay. There, oh, there were no, other. Really there were <laughs> other chests there. <laughs> okay. They were burnt. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. That's what he relates to. Okay. Potentially there was gold. But Upon further inspection with your investigation check, you're able to look through there and notice that the chests have been broken into crowbar to open and then burnt. The yeah, whole wagon is burnt, and so they've been, been catching fire as the the wagon is going. Given that I know about Mast Head, do I recognize anything in particular? Almost everything here is is uh, the the iconography of the chests, the, the the metal bandings themselves. They tend to have this um, harsher Gothic feel to it. All the everything in here. And I recognize that. it as just a normal tax. It's it's wagon. a it's a yeah it's, it's it's like a wagon meant to be like an armored transport of mm-hmm. sorts. And you would know that there would be at least uh, three people inside guarding it, along with the uh, the sheriff. Um, it's like the brinks of wagons. Basically, basically. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm going to continue to look around for a little while. If they come after me, I'll wait there, but if they don't, then I'll head back. Okay. I mean, I I will probably be looking for Trixie. I'll probably, okay. not loud, but I will call out in the immediate vicinity. Okay. Um, where the wagons are, the three wagons are, where, where we are. Do you know what I hear about? Which direction she went to the jingles? I have no idea. I never know with her. Well, we went past the so wagon. We almost saw the wagon. Because I'm thinking it might be I'm assuming she would go back to the wagon. She's yeah, definitely okay. at the wagon. I told right. her there's gold right. there. So, Jingles, why don't uh, you course, yes. check I, for Trixie? Yeah. And then we. Get a, I'm feeling we should get the yeah. caravan moving I again. agree. Right. I think the caravan needs to get on the move. Jorgen, how do you feel about tying this guy to the hitch? Having him walk along with us? <laughs> Let's just take uh, him in the cart. I. I Look, my, the one who just tried to pull my master were to find word about that, uh, it would start with his reputation. I strongly do feel his... we should leave him. I don't feel that bringing him with us will be a wise decision. Do I just with him what gonna... you feel, but I don't want no part of it. Don't time for the wagons, please. Fair enough. All right. You I go man. back to the guy. And I go. He's on the ground. I mean, he's, yeah, kind of on the ground. He's barely in and out of contact. I pick him up and I go, "You are lucky." These two were here to protect you. He's yours. Me? Yeah. You guys both like made like stop me from. I wanted to tie him to a tree and leave him. Oh. <laughs> well then, you're lucky that you had her. <laughs> Shh. He's all yours. <laughs> he falls back down. I'm gonna tie him tighter. Okay. You go and tie him. Are you, are you <laughs> gonna fix him to a tree then? I was overruled. I personally feel we should leave him, but if everyone else wants to bring him, he's all yours. Please. I have no say in this. All right. Okay. Jane Goss, what's your thoughts? We leave him. Really? Yes. I, as much as I would like to bring him and question him more, I no. do not wish to. I don't think he's going to tell us anything. Jorgen said he yeah. doesn't want us to take him. Exactly. Why are we arguing? Exactly. He's our he's our job. Yes, I agree. Which is why we're not taking him. All right, uh, Don Ash, pick a tree, any tree. The one that's the thickest where you can escape. All right. Whose robe are we going to use? Who wants to leave their robe behind? <laughs> I have 50 feet. I'll leave mine behind. Okay. Mine has no magical... Feet of rope. Oh and then, uh, yeah. And in the meantime, I, well, I'm going to venture I don't want to use it. Can I, like, cut it in half? We could also just kill him. No! 
We can't. Amalthea, explain to me one reason why this man who blew up a cart spat in my face and tried to pull a blade he on us. He spat in your face because you knocked him unconscious twice. He's a bandit, Amalthea. So what? So was that kid that you saved. It's completely different. It's this, not the different. kid was I not blowing a cart. wonderful idea. Is he awake? He's barely awake. He's looking directly at uh, Don Ash. Get up. And I would like to pull him. If I, I'd like to kind of He's not going to really help himself yeah, up. That's okay. I'd like to, as much as I can, pull him. I would like to take I'll a assist. dagger. I would like to take a dagger off of my belt. He's looking. And I would like to put it. it in his hand. I'd also like to hold an action. But Jingles. I'd like to put a dagger in his hand. It's loose in his hand right now. Jingles, what are you doing? It's a test. <laughs> Well, that problem that solved itself. <laughs> yes. Yikes. Well, he out solved. in front of you. All right. Nice. Well, um, not exactly how I thought that was going to go. No, but that Jingles, you always have the best ideas. <laughs> All right, no, let's go. <laughs> Drag him over wow. that change yeah. your tune so quickly. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah, yeah, he took I'll, care I'll, of the problem. I, so I'll, yeah, I'll grab the dagger and I'll... We uh, don't have the right to do yeah. it. Clean it, yeah, clean you it off. You don't have the right to execute um, this right, man. Yeah. Yeah. So he wants to kill himself. Um, and fine. I'll make sure the blood kind of goes back on him. Um, <laughs> okay. And, uh, all right, give me a second. I'm going to try and find Trixie. If you guys want to get the caravan started up, we'll... Please, Jorgen. He's already coming. How does Jorgen feel about our party right now? He's like, yeah. Confused? He's, yeah, he's, yeah. He, he has a look of, you know, he, he didn't want to stop it at all. I say, he, don't worry, Jorgen. We got everything under control. <laughs> I see that. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So, um, as long as every enemy we encounter kills themselves, you'll be safe. There is a message <laughs> about madness. He slaps the, uh, the oxen in front of him. All four begin to kind of move now. But, and, but, uh, no, no, no. They're, they're they're technically yeah. they're moving towards. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's what I. That seemed. I mean, the fire was north of us. Gotcha. So. And I'd like to make one of our bird calls that okay. we use to communicate. Uh, All right. In our adventures. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we never use the bird call. <sighs> okay, I'll follow the sound of the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, you do go back to the. Uh, the burning wagon now. It, uh, now the embers have kind of like died down, and it, the whole thing is just a charred mess. Okay. It's still smoking. All right. I'd like to, uh, as as I get up to it, I'd like to get my dancing lights around and just mm -hmm. see, because I can't see in the but dark. And it's still a little on fire, right? Yeah, but just sure. to, more but to illuminate like the maybe scene. Maybe like a ten foot radius okay. of yeah. illumination, but it just lights just illuminating the scene. Just Trixie. not too much. There's still people around. I'm sure. What have you found? The masthead. But there was no gold, so they were bandits. Were bandits? How many of them? I don't know. I don't know any more than you. All I know is the gold was in fact taken and that this is from Masthead. But Jingles, I'm not going back to Masthead. I know. We'll see what we can do. We'll bring this information maybe to the Duke, maybe to the uh maybe to the constable at Cephalon. Do you wanna take one look around and see if you see anything that I missed? We do. One look. And I would like to uh, use a spell slot, um, and I will cast Detect Magic as I walk uh, up close okay. to the caravan, and okay. kind of eyes kind of flicker. Uh, sure. Um, light, light, pale blue. You walk around, you take your ten minutes, and nothing seems to be giving off a ma magical aura okay. around. All right, and this uh, this doesn't appear to be like a magical flame or anything like that. This no, is, uh, this okay. is set on fire by uh, by a torch or okay. other means. All right, uh, I don't see anything particularly out of the ordinary, but we will find we'll find some way to deal with this at another time. Mm -hmm. But for right now, get what you need. Oh, there's nothing here. I'm sure, and I will. Uh, Give her a give her a little uh, nod, and I'll kind of uh, tug at the back of her uh, of her shirt as I start to make my way back towards the caravans. Okay. Why are you tugging on your shirt? To get you to go. Oh yeah, no. I'm <laughs> okay. I just I wanted to to show someone else that there was nothing there. Yeah. And okay. I wanted to make sure just in case anyone saw anything yeah. else. All right. The night begins to fall. You guys do make your way back to the, the wagons there, and about maybe a hundred feet beyond the burnt wagon, you notice a sign pointing to the east with the road leading off to New River. You 
figures are passing you now. I will take very, very strong note of this particular location. I will write it in my... Uh, in you my have the map currently of yeah. that area anyway. Yeah, I'd like to take that, fold it up, and put it inside the, uh, the pages <coughs> of my book. Okay. We have a message with us, boys. We'll get back. Did you find anything else at the cart? No, there was nothing left. Everything burnt? Everything was burnt. Are you sure? I mean, there's some things left, but the cart was burnt. I mean, there's no more gold, Trixie. There's you know no what I mean. There's no more gold. They were bandits. There didn't seem to be any gold nor any sort of traces of magic, so we're dealing with ordinary, ordinary bandits, but certainly dedicated, tenacious bandits to take over a... Uh, to be able to I attack such regardless. a large caravan. <laughs> 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 All right. Fine. We've got a long road ahead of us. We do. I'm going to sleep. No one. Touch me. Interested. I'll stay up and keep watch. Me Thank too. You. I'm going to keep watch as well. I, yeah, and when I, uh, when I kick back I'd like to before I before I go to sleep I'd like to see I'd like to really really examine that uh, note with the map because I, I know that you said there were other notes on there there were other pieces of paper in that other piece of paper I'd like to go through all of those documents before okay. I before I go to sleep I'd like to see everything that was Can written. I assist <laughs> <Diana? laughs> okay uh, oh, Donna, before it. you sleep I believe I promised you a bit of healing let me sleep okay do not talk to me. So bad. <laughs> he just went full drow. So angry. And with that, <laughs> you guys head over to the north. We're going to end tonight's episode on that note. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be an interesting road. <laughs> this is going to be fucking All right. interesting. Well, all right, guys. <laughs> good, good stuff, guys. <laughs> Learned a lot <laughs> about a lot of people. <laughs> this is okay. awesome. All right, yeah, I, I also learned a lot. <laughs> good, good stuff, guys. Um, okay, yeah. Um, thank you guys for uh, watching. Um, do we, do we, do we have the we had the win, right? Yeah, we, yeah, we did. did. Yeah. Uh, Henry, Henry, Henry Agrippa. Uh, Agrippa. Henry Agrippa. Agrippa. So, <laughs> <Sure>. sorry. <laughs> um, how, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't believe we hit the twenty sub goal, but there, that is still going on live. So we're, close. Close. we're close. getting yeah, very close. So, subs, so, yep. And if you guys, uh, um, if you're watching this throughout the week, and we do reach that goal sometime during the week, next episode we'll have that giveaway. That's right. So keep twenty side die, guys. With a custom face. One custom. Four letters, uh, because you I can't write. <laughs> or we can get him to, to stamp a, an air horn symbol on it. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> probably I could probably I could probably work that. Um, yeah, I can't actually have it make it do the noise. I'm sorry. Not That's yet. for a hundred subs. Yeah, for hundred subs. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We're for there. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. All right, guys. Thank you again so much. Yes. Uh, we're here next week, 5:30 p.m. As always. Take care. See you later. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Man, no, that was, a, that was, that was pretty intense. awesome. It felt like mommy hit daddy at the table for a while there. Right.